Okay, uh, we live? Okay, uh, we live? Seems good. Let's continue with space exploration. I am the sky, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Pardon me while I literally and figuratively catch my breath a little bit. Uh, so where were we? I obviously just went to space, or I was about to go to space. I think it was I was about to go to space. Because my inventory still has this solid rocket fuel. Uh, so what, like, single thing did I need to take up to space, I wonder? Uh, let's see. We need to make a laser facility. How do we do that? Laser facility... Laser turrets, I remember this now. Uh, we can't quite make laser turrets without sending something up because of quads. And for now it's a one-off thing, so I think I should just take some quartz up directly. Although, how much quartz is a good question. Um, I believe... how much is this? Uh, 3.4k, fantastic. Um, we only need the quartz for laser turrets, for laser facilities, right? It's not... at least for now it's not going to be a continuous throughput kind of thing. Uh, that said, I would rather take too much than not enough. If I take this much, we would need 12 cargo rocket sections, uh, as opposed to what exactly? Uh, 11 if I take this much? Really? Let's see, if it's basically nothing, seven. Seven cargo rocket sections to bring up four stacks. Uh, or to bring up zero stacks, basically. Uh, give me some more solid rocket fuel. Let's go. Should be some down here. Planning the next base, oxygen not included. Oh, I didn't click the update button. Thanks, LSF. And welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so yeah, that should... Let me just double check. Yeah, that should be correct now. Alright. So I think if we put the solid rocket fuel in here, the stack size of it is discounted. Um, yeah, it actually takes seven cargo rocket sections minimum. Uh, to get where we want to go. Where are we keeping those? Okay. And how much stuff can I take before we need more? That requires three. And that requires five. I think we'll get another five. What? Oh, they're gone now. Wait, no, we're... We're packing them. Yeah, there we go. Uh, how many have we got? Ten. We need two more. Give me those. So this would be 12 cargo rocket sections. Player plus this thing exceeding capacity. Oh, we only get 20? Wait, so if I... Hold up. Um... If I drop this down to 20 stacks, do the stacks that are in the cargo rocket count? No, they don't. So this is as much as we're allowed to bring up in one go. This would be 8. Uh, okay. Eight. Eight. Eight, nine. 
We could have three stacks, and it would still count. It would still be that many cargo rocket sections. This is still nine, ten, ten. Whatever. I think. I think we'll just go for it. As many as we're allowed to take in one go. And I'm, I'll just double check, but I'm pretty sure the extra... Wait, this is the bare minimum of solid rocket fuel for this? Really? Okay. Well, there's plenty of solid rocket fuel upstairs. Let's go. Let me just double check my... Oh, this will be fine. Take an orbit, here we come. Zetius, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And here we are in space. Please take... wait, what? Please take these off my hands. Uh, I guess I'm still consuming the la or working off the last bit of uh, life support that I already had active. Um... I think it'll be easier if I just grab a assembly machine like this, rather than trying to handcraft it. And what did we need? Laser facility. Laser facility requires 10 laser turrets. Uh, not 50. And... I can't think what else quartz would be used for up here, but I don't want to overdo it at the moment. Um, so we're just going to say laser turret equals zero. And that should be enough to sort things out. Um, apparently we need a stack inserter for this. There we go. It's actually quite slow. Good thing we only need 10, was it? Yeah, 10. To get our laser facility. Okay. Laser F equals zero. And we can leave that alone without it consuming all of our resources now. Let's grab some SRF before we go. And back down to Hagen. Fantastic. And I forgot we weren't going to end up landing in the mall. Uh, taxi? Where, where am I? Here we go. Please visit here, wait until passenger present, and then go to mall returns. Actually, then go to here and wait until passenger not present. Here comes our taxi. Don't run me over. Fantastic. And how's our lasers coming along? We've already got five. We are almost 60% of the way there. And what's our next step before we can get... Oh, we've already got... Oh, we've already completed a data card here. That's good. Apparently the warm coolant doesn't have anywhere to go on this side. Uh, slight oversight. Hmm, that's actually kind of tricky to spaghetti. I wish we had longer underground pipes. Uh, I suppose we could... 
What temperature is that? 25 degree. That's also 25 degree. Oh, this is 25 degree. Okay, cool. So we're going to head down here and not quite be able to reach this over. Maybe I should start making some long pipes. Three, five, nine, uh, seven, nine, fifteen, right? Well, how many tiles is this? It is exactly fifteen. No, it's sixteen. Close enough. Let's do a fifteen. And give it some power. Halem Grandmaster, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Requester. Passive provider. And limit to... I don't know. Ten. All right. Oh, coronal mass ejection heading for planets that we are not on. Fantastic. Not too worried about that one then. And then, what's what length is this? 13? 5, 5, and 3. Yeah, that's going to be as neat as anywhere else. Alright, so once that's connected, we should be able to continue making electromagnetic field data. Fantastic. Uh, products finished zero because we haven't done Holmium Plate. That's fine. Uranium-235. I don't believe we have that up here. But we already have a ton of 238. Uh, I wish I'd thought of this before I made that little trip, because I kind of want to just do a little cover X here. We need 0 0.0625. Hmm, let's see. Uh, before I redo my inventory, I might consider going back up there again, even though it's a little bit of a waste. But rather than rocking, rocketing up 235 as well, which I should probably just do, to be honest. Add yet one more thing to this rocket. Uh, except I'm sure we don't have, like, a cargo rocket full of uranium-235 just yet. Although we do have... Oh. We've run out of 238. Uh, I sort of took my uranium for granted for a minute there. I do have a little mine here that I'd like to get rid of anyway. Can, does our lazy mine work with pipes very well? Let's see. Good morning, uh, free, free beer Freddy. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh yeah, that's beautiful for pipes. It's just two long sections of, uh, of mines. Alright, uh, what if we put this here, and then... That actually fits beautifully. Add some, uh, chain signals over here. I can't really see how I would fit it so that the station is both a drop-off and a pickup, so that we could drop off the sulfuric acid here. Uh, I don't really think there's any room to do that with our lazy mine. So I'll just add... It's a bit sticking out over here, how rude. Uh, I think I'll just add... Oh, there's something in bot range. Oh, right. I see why. Okay. Uh, I'll just add a little station here for the moment. I think it's five, right? Yeah, five. Fantastic. Uh, we'll need a... 
unload a station. Uh, except we don't need unloaders. Uh, let's go standard requester. Right about there. Tea snacks, my clap. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Uh, let's get our construction train to park in the obvious place. Wait for inactivity. Give it a minute just to be sure. And we should have everything we need on hand to make a uh, drop-off for the sulfuric acid as well. Where's our train? Here it comes. Now show me where the... where this goes. Perfect. Do we have steel pumps? I should certainly think so. Fantastic. And let's put a power pole right about here, because we can't reach our green wire from... The logistic train stop input to the storage. Uh, we won't need a stack threshold. I don't care about the size of the trains. We do want sulfuric acid. Actually, let me try short trains only here. Because I think the way I've set up everything else, we could probably only request 25k at a time. Which is lots for a sulfuric acid mine, I think. Especially one that's only very small. I haven't put big mines into the construction train yet, though. Um, but while it's here, let's get it to place some pipes. And that should be all it takes. Um, I don't think we physically need anything else except for big miners. Uh, let's request some. I should probably check how much space we've got left in each of the cargo wagons. Uh, I'd say the middle probably has the most space still. Definitely. Alright, let's put um, big mining drills in the middle cargo wagon. A stack or two, depending on... 50. 50 big mining drills is actually quite a bit. Let's just go for one stack. Then again, we've got room. Uh, it's probably fine. F 50 drills. Where else have we done a big... We've got a bunch of lazy mines over here. And that only adds up to 39, so I think that's probably fine. Alright, so train is going to go back home. And then it's going to pick stuff up. And then... Oh, I have it. Yeah, I've got it set so I, it doesn't take off until I manually move it. I don't, don't want to change that. Alright, so we're going to copy this over here. And that's going to supply the big mining drills, because we're multiplying by negative one, or negative two, rather, um, to ask LTN to bring them. It's actually just bringing the mines right now. Fantastic. Harvey UK, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, could we get our sulfuric acid delivered, though? Let's only request a train when we're down to 1,000. And that should be all it takes. Assuming we have a short fluid wagon available. Good time zone to you, indeed, Mitch Agus. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, so are we already trying to load big mining drills? Yes, we are. And are they already here? Not just yet. Here they come. Subhan, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 
I love that I can actually do this kind of quicker and easier almost than if I just grabbed the drills myself and flew over there, even though it's not a very far distance this time. Um, that could probably just go. I forgot that we're in range of this robot network, so that's going to get put back in the trash system to take back to the mall. There's already a train on the way. Uh, that sound means our train is loaded, including our drills. Fantastic. We're looking for inactivity. And there should already be the sulfuric acid. There is not. Uh, do we have short fluid wagons? Or have I not bothered with those yet? I don't think we have any short fluid wagons. Okay. Let's fix that. LFL. Uh, how does this... Why doesn't this line up? That's weird. Maybe I just got that wrong? Yeah, I think it should be over a tile. Okay, and this one... No, oh, now this one doesn't line up. What? Okay, so... For our LCL and LFL, that is locomotive, cargo wagon, locomotive, slash locomotive, fluid wagon, locomotive, uh, blueprints, we've got one rail section in the middle so that it can snap. As you can see, they're actually in slightly different places, and I can't quite... Hmm... Fascinating. What if we do this? Remove that. Uh, add a fluid wagon. 55. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Locomotives go burr indeed. Uh, I want to copy from here. Uh, let's just put this down quickly. For the schedules. And pick those up again. Uh, not the rail though. Too late, too slow. Uh, God damn it. Okay. Alright, and then let's redo our blueprint. Select new contents. Uh, I only need the rail in the middle. Let's remove the trains. And remove everything but this one, perhaps? Is that the same as how we did it for the other one? I think it is. I could include train fuel, but we're not always going to be using the same fuel. I think I like this better. Alright, so if we look at these two, they should look exactly the same with the Snap 2 using the rail. Fantastic. Let's make one more. That's more like it. Uh, and once that gets back to the depot, it should be scheduled to deliver sulfuric acid um, for our uranium mine. Away you go. Our construction train did come back. We've got our drills ready. They are waiting for sulfuric acid. And then we're going to get our 16,000 uranium. Which is not a whole lot, to be honest. Here is half a mil. That's a little bit better. Uh, this is 128k... There's not that much, comparatively. 
Um, it doesn't help that we sent 50k to 38 up to orbit, though, to get started. Um, I guess the half a mil is the best we can find in a somewhat reasonable distance. Oh, we've got a couple close together here, but that's not that much. All right, let's go for the half a mil. And I think we want to just turn right from here somewhere. Maybe like this. Um, I should really make some... Do, do I have some quarter blocks? I thought I did make some quarter blocks for this. Maybe not. Alright, uh, why don't I just copy that from somewhere? We also need some more rail signals over here somewhere. Uh, train, please pay this spot a visit. Wait for inactivity. Fantastic. Let's copy this. That's not quite right. Let's go to the editor for a sec. And... Could I, in fact... Create a blueprint that is just one quarter of this. Um, that'll snap properly. Okay. We want one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And I think that's about right. Perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six. God damn it. Okay, two tiles down. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. And then... One, two, three, four, five. That should be right. Okay. So now the question is, can we snap to grid absolute um, this in the right place? I think we can, we just have to get the offset right. Alright, let's play with the offset. Um, is it going to be like here? Oh, got it in one. Perfect. Alright, that's good. We can now add roundabouts seamlessly to our highways. What are you testing? Um, I'm just trying to make a one quarter of our rail block blueprint that snaps to grid so that I can easily, um, let's put it here, uh, corner, hold on, curved, no, where is it, what is it called? Oh, is there not a signal to show curved rail? I guess not. Huh. Well, that's a surprise. Uh, I guess I'll use a C signal or something. Well, it's actually a roundabout. I could use an O. Uh, corner... Peace. That'll do. Alright. So the reason we did that is so that we could easily do this. And I think up here will make sense. Beautiful. Uh, we don't... Whoops. We don't really need this side right now. 
And then we can grab our straight east-west and run it over here. And once again, corner. It's going to be infringing on that iron mine, but a big drill will easily... Even the last tier of drill would... Or even probably the first tier of drill would easily pick that up. All right. Uh, and then we want lazy mine, because we're lazy. And I think I could almost cover the whole thing with just one blueprint. But we'll probably just do it like this. Fantastic. Yep, that should have full coverage. We'll need some pipe to connect these. And... Hmm. Unfortunately, with this, with the way squiggly rail works, we can't quite connect that properly. Uh... If it's left-hand drive... What if... Nope, that's a bit too close together. I mean, I could do it this way, but... Well, what would look less bad? That's the question. Uh, gross. If I do it like this, um... We just have to mess with the roundabout so that the train can go both directions on both of these, which means more signals. If I can even fit the signals there, which I can't. Um, I could do a extra little crisscross over here. Like that, I guess. Yeah, that'll work. RF Holloway, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Could name it Crossroad, indeed. Thanks to watching this, I have designed my own rail block. While it is not as efficient as yours, it still works. Feels good, doesn't it? Uh, to make a rail block that's your own. Feels even better to improve it. Uh, I really felt like I kind of like it, it. Like it's almost like partially luck. Um, designing this rail block, everything just sort of fell into place. All right. Uh, getting the construction train to shunt forward bit by bit is actually a little bit of a pain, but I could still use it. Uh, to pick up... I, I could still use it to resupply me with stuff. Okay. So, should I get... I really think I probably should just get some cover X going up here for the trickle of science that we're going to need up this way. That's three laser facilities, that's two more than we need, or three more, or four more than we need, actually. Uh, looks like we've already got all of our inputs for this particular data card. Fantastic. And I was going to make another radiation facility. So we could have a look at just how fast Coverex would happen. I forgot the uranium fuel cells I donated to make this one happen. Yeah, I definitely think it would be easier if I go up there myself. Probably just one or two of these doing Coverex will be able to keep up with this one. Uh, it is requiring uh, 3.75... Uranium-235 per minute. That's not too much. Evil Plot, move in. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I triggered a memory with WoW. Uh-oh. Uh, 
Can I have some more rail, please? There we go. Let's head over and get this next uranium mine done. Oh, the construction train is blocking things as well. Let's resolve that. Uh, wait for passenger present. Fantastic. Maybe I should just manually drive it. That's probably actually the easiest way right now. We're just going to keep bringing it up close to... Close to the rail. Uh, and I guess our own robots are going to keep placing the rail until I run out. That works. I can't quite reach back into the cargo wagon in the middle. Maybe I should stop for a sec. I'll hop in this one. Oops. Now I have to go... Now I have to hold backward instead of forward. Uh, and I'll just grab all that rail. Fantastic. This is actually a pretty smooth way to go about it. Probably... Whoa, 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 don't go that way. I thought it was going to pop me up to the north of the train. Now I can press forward, but more importantly, uh... The bots will be more responsive laying rail in front of me so we can go a little bit faster. And we're there. Never mind. Right, left and right. This is almost like file. Hey, Dilka. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Building in style. Uh, is our train going to get stuck? I think it might. We don't have any pa- Ow, ow, ow! Even though I'm in the train. Ow! Aziz Light! Aziz Light? Donion? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We don't actually need this placed just yet. Uh, but I guess it doesn't hurt. Wallace and Gromit vibes in this approach? Wait, what? Oh, I know. I know exactly the gif you're referring to. Yes. Yes, indeed. Alright, so... Signals on both sides for that. And I think it's fine if we just have one big... Um... Intersection here. There's not going to be that much traffic. The trains will figure it out. But more importantly, they're able to get back. They're able to come in left-hand drive, and they're able to leave left-hand drive without messing with the signals up here, which are a pain. And I hate to have exceptions to the rail blocks like that. Okay, uh, last thing we need here is a sulfuric acid drop-off, which I could actually put down here. Um, I wonder how small we could make it. Probably smaller if I keep it straight, to be honest. And again. Let's get ourselves a LTN stop. And... Big container. Pump. And I think, again, we'll just summon short trains for this one. Just check that's been working. It has not been working. Why has it not been working? Train length 3 to 3, request threshold 25k, sulfuric acid negative 26k. Uh, that should work. What about the sulfuric acid pickup? I probably didn't think of using short trains at the time. There we go. RHS driving is superior? <laughs> no. You get to have the signals in the middle if you do left-hand. 
It's more, uh, it's more neat and tidy. Okay. Uh, substation. Wires. Requester station. And I'll copy the settings from up here, actually. Which, now that I think of it, I probably didn't name the station, and now I can't rename the station until the train gets here, I think. It's almost there, though. Why don't I just do it on this end first? Oh, wow. I literally turned that off instantly. Like, like probably 10 ticks or something. 10 or 20 ticks. And LTN had already scheduled something here before I could switch off the constant combinator so I could update the station name. I see how it is. Alright, power poles can't quite reach with only one. Let's do it like this. Uh, and then... Let's grab that station. I want to call it Sulfuric Acid Requester. Uh, I guess I'll give it a proper name. Big Mining Drill producing uranium ore. And if our train has already arrived, it actually can't. Actually, yes, it can. Or rather, it could if, if we were more proactive with the signaling, I guess. This train is technically in the way otherwise. And now we can rename our station. Fantastic. Alright, uh, that should... Wait, wait, wait. Minor detail. I guess we actually don't need these pipes if we do it like that. If we delete them in the correct order, the bots won't... Uh, the fluid won't be wasted. Uh, and we need a pipe here, please. Now, why is this not bringing it back? Because it's full. Fantastic. Alright, let's go back and empty... You're stuck, aren't you? Let's just... Oh, I see. Now you should be able to find your own way back. Well, oh, that's made it fairly easy to build out a mining outpost. Rafa Live, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And then... Uh, yeah, we're already mining. Beautiful. So that should... Well, how much are we getting? Let's see. 900... That's per minute. 15.4 um, per second. Plus... 7 per second. So call it 20 per second, because it's going to drop in the relatively near future, because that's how mines are. Uh, we can actually consume... We're not bottlenecking on mining yet. Uh, we're not bottlenecking on processing yet, rather. Uh, it's... We should probably make another mine. Can we find... Oh, there's one. 1. 1.3 mil? Yeah. Okay. Is this still in the way? Uh, they're all empty, so that's a no. There's a bit of stone here, though. Hmm, I can't pick a dolly's belt. But... I could just do this. And I'm guessing there's not quite enough stone. Oh, there is enough stone. Uh, the stone mine itself is running out, but... There hasn't been a pickup here for a while. That's kind of encouraging. We probably need to make a new stone mine. I can't remember, but we might need to make a new... 
Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, we definitely need a new copper mine. Um, also, that's, uh, that's a little bit unhelpful. All the new resources, indeed. Oh yeah, Holmium. We've been mining that, but I don't remember how much we've processed it. Uh, here's our biomatter, though. I forgot that's consuming petroleum. Are we okay on petroleum? It's only 40 per second. So, but the fact that this is empty says probably not. Uh, how about request threshold... Negative. Re request priority negative, because this is like the last thing I care about that requires petroleum. Uh, I thought we fixed our petroleum problems with, uh, what is it called? Coal filtration? I'm seeing not 100% uptime. Oh, it's actually bottlenecking output. Let's see. Heavy oil is supposed to be one-to-one -one here. But I'm seeing... I think I'm seeing the machines stop because output is backed up. Or at least I thought I was. No? This one's backed up. Okay. So it's like imbalance? It, it's totally saturated. Hmm. Is this... Are these all working full speed? They look like they are. Oh, the output isn't that fast. The coal is completely saturated. Oh. So the petroleum that we're getting out of here is bottlenecked on not consuming all of the coal. That's kind of good, really. I mean, the main reason for this build was coal. Uh, but we were celebrating because coal and petroleum were what we were short on, and then suddenly we're able to make uh, our most abundant resource into our least abundant resources. Um, but I guess if we want more petroleum, we might actually need more, even more blocks for regular oil processing. This one's saturated. Wait, what? Hold up. Uh, provide threshold 50k. Green length should be 3 or 4. We've got 200k petroleum. Combinator is switched on. They're both connected to the logistic train stop input. Why is this completely backed up on petroleum? But this doesn't have petroleum. Oh, I set this to exactly 50k, and request threshold 50k. Well, there's your problem. This 2.5 petroleum means we're not quite low enough on petroleum to request more. Which means we've actually got plenty. Beautiful. It's your boy, Berries. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we should probably get more uranium. I'm feeling, I'm, I'm getting distracted though, but let's quickly get distracted with just this one uranium mine because that is looking particularly juicy. Um, it's by far the biggest and most compact and dense uranium mine uh, that we've found. I think I will auto drive train up here and then we'll manually drive it forward. Uh, 
Fantastic. We'll do another lazy mine. Because lazy mine is best mine. In the way that matters the most. Which is... We don't have to put much effort into it. We want to get the best possible force multiplication for our time. As the engineer. Should probably put some signals here as well. While we are at it. Uh, how about... This way. This way. This way, this way, and this way, and this way. That should be okay. So train is allowed to go through here, through here, through here, and both directions here. Cool. Hey, hey, El Pancho. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I think I'll do the thing again where I get up the front. I'll wait for these uh, bots to come back first. Actually, I don't have to wait for them. They can recharge on the move as long as we're not going that fast. And if I keep just the right speed. My bots will keep building as we go, Wallace and Gromit style. Oop, I got slightly too greedy. To maintain an exact speed if we can. Just the right tapping frequency. Okay, out we get. Construction train will do its thing. Uh, we need rail. Oh, we've actually got room to do this pretty much however we'd like. So let's do it like this, I think. And like this. Very clean, very easy. Uh, left hand drive this way, right hand drive. I mean, left hand drive actually. This way. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Ouch, ouch. Stop it, stop it. Uh, we already had signals up there, so I guess some of that was unnecessary. It's fine. Uh, and then up here as well. Oh, some butts just came back. Uh, and one more down here. And one more here, I think. Okay. Uh, because we don't have a way to turn around properly... I'll have to manually bring it this way. And then back and left. There we go. Uh, we'll need to do a sulfuric acid train again. Signal to leave. Oh yeah, good point. Uh, probably trying to get in the front wagon again. Yep. I should probably make sure there's a bit more space. Oh, it's too much, regardless. Okay. Uh, sulfuric acid train. Let's do one up here. Then again, this train could block this train, theoretically. We don't want that. How about... 
down here. And we'll just copy what we did this time. See if we can line it up nicely. That will do perfectly. Oh wow, the train's already scheduled. Beautiful. And regular pipe. And power, and power. That should be everything. Alright, back we go to re-empty and fill the train. I'm pretty sure we connected these well enough. Oh, they're not powered. Uh, what if I do this? Yeah, that's all it took. Fantastic. I can live with that. And there's our sulfuric acid train just whizzing by because it is a short one. And there's another about 18 uranium per second. Uh, so what are we at? Optimistically, 18 plus... 14, a bit over 30, plus 4, so maybe 35 per second, uh, at least for the moment, which is actually enough to keep this thing saturated. Fantastic. Oh, and we can get rid of this now as well. That's good. Right then, I'm going to go back to the mall myself, which is just up here. Uh, and let's see, we should have a few, we do not have a few radiation facilities, because I need to personally bring up some uranium fuel cells. While I'm at it, I may as well put a whole stack of them in my personal uh, portable nuclear reactor. Partly so that I have... Oh, wow, that's a lot. Uh, partly so I have a practically infinite amount... Ow, 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 stop it! No! No, don't give me all of those! No, bad! Oh, no. Uh, stop, stop, stop. Uh, as I was saying... Uh, 50 uranium fuel cells is going to last practically forever for my personal power pack. We need only 4 per radiation facility. This should be more than enough. I would take more, but then I'm going to, like, take radiation damage unless I keep them in my hand or something. Uh, we are missing 238 here for the moment because we aggressively consumed all of it for cover X. Perm. Should I just keep going until we saturate 235? Or should I try and come up with some logic to make sure we've got 238? I mean, we can... We can always get more 238, right? There'll even be a bit of a trickle from it, from core mining. Although I do mean a trickle. Is there a trick slash bug to stop damage from uranium? Enable, disa enable disable satellite vision. I don't think that would do it. But if the uranium is actually in your hand, uh, it doesn't cause any damage. If it's in a chest, it doesn't cause any damage. If it is in your portable nuclear reactor, it doesn't cause any damage. Uh, and I think if I put it in, for example, the space capsule, it wouldn't do any damage. I wasn't going to bother with that, but we may as well, besides. So we'll have... I think what I was going to take up was already a practically infinite amount for the moment. 
Um, I don't actually have a space capsule handy here. So I'm pretty sure if I put this in the space capsule, even if I'm in the space capsule, it won't hurt me. Cool. Uh, let's dump our inventory yet again. Except for solid rocket fuel. I don't even know where some of my power armor stuff has gone. Actually, I think it's in these chests. Yeah, there you go. Because I don't want to bother with bot requests for those things. Alright, we're going to need some solid rocket fuel. And seven cargo rocket sections. Feels a bit wasteful. Um, should I take anything else while we're at it? I guess I could take more quartz. There's probably no need. Um, the question is... Oh, I need another 50? SRF? And then... That's at seven... Wait, what? Yeah, okay. Um... So that's the bare minimum of solid rocket fuel. Uh, we've got more cargo rocket sections than we need. Uh, it says... Oh, that, now we need less solid rocket fuel. Now we need more solid rocket fuel. Uh, uh, what if we take a stack of quartz? Now we need more solid rocket fuel, but still only seven uh, cargo rocket sections. One more stack of quartz. Looks good to me. One more stack of quartz. Uh, still good. One more stack of quartz. That needs one more cargo rocket section. Alright. Let's make the most of our cargo rocket sections here. Up we go once again. Just trying to put it in inventory. Press N view result. Make sure we let it cook for a while. I was lurking a bit, sorry if you explained in detail, is it really practically infinite for the portable nuclear reactor? It's practically infinite for the purpose of making a few uh, radiation facilities, and then we'll, able to, we'll be able to do cover X, and we're already automating, sending up a lot of uranium-238. And I just, just realized I should have brought up a little teensy bit of Uranium-235 specifically to get the whole thing started. Rip in pepperonis. But I have an idea. I'm just going to one-off manually... Put a stack of uh, two of 235 in this rocket uh, before it launches again. Um, and that'll get the whole thing started. Okay. So that is three radiation facilities already. We don't have any more space assembly machines, apparently. We do, actually. Give me those. Uh, how fast would this be for the old cover -X? Let's see. Net 0 0.0167 per second. One per minute. Okay, that's, that's an easier metric this time. And this thing requires 3.75 per minute. So if we do four of these, that'll be enough. 
It'll also give us... Ow, 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 ow. Give me some life support. Where is it? Uh, give me some solid rocket fuel as well. Give me some fuel. Fantastic. Uh, can we get one more? Yes, we can. Good. Ow. Why? Why are we dying? No, oh, stop it. No. Help. Why is it in my inventory? Ouch. Ouchie. And furthermore, ouch. Alright. We require... Uh, four radiation facilities over here. Got attrition. When it drops, you pick it up automatically. Wait, what? I have a delivery cannon for such an emergency? That's not the worst idea. Yeah, 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 from the, from the machine. Is this outside of... It's not outside of robot range, is it? It is not. Didn't... Oh, I've got them right here. My roboports aren't active. Wait, I just disabled them, though. I don't have bots, that's why. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I think if we put these... a little bit further apart... Maybe one more. And we'll grab ourselves a buffer chest. Uh, we would need a pair of buffer chests, actually. Some filter inserters, I think. If we want to do it really simple, like... We could literally just do it unfiltered. Um, but we should probably have... Certain things taken away. If it gets too full. How about a filter inserter? We're going to whitelist read from the chest. Oh, I need to handcraft this. I need a few electronic circuits. Okay. We're going to need a constant combinator. And we're just going to read positive numbers from the chest. Set filters whitelist. Uh, negative numbers from the constant combinator. For how much stuff is allowed to be here. So nothing for stone. Uh, let's see. Probably all of the 235. Say... 2,000. And... Uh, I don't know, a few stacks of 238 as well. How many stacks is this? 96. Probably don't have to remove it that aggressively. Uh, let's see, we're looking for 235, 238, and that's about it, actually. I thought we had 238, the robot network probably can't reach. Okay, so up to, let's just, go, let's just say up to 2k of each. I don't really care, but we're not allowing stone in here. As long as it doesn't block one thing or the other, that's all I care about here. 
Alright, substation goes here. Uh, and now we just need to bring a little bit of 235 to kickstart the whole thing. And that'll be able to slightly more than keep up with this thing at full speed. Uh, let's see, products finished. 128, 0, because we need hold me in plate. 2, because the output... Uh, I didn't put a limit on this. I did not put a limit on this. Um, how can I fit this together sensibly? Why can't I move this further? Thermal radiator will not... Oh, this block doesn't actually... isn't actually empty. Uh, I'm just trying to find room for a pump for decision making because we weren't supposed to turn all of the thermofluid into negative 10 because we need a gap because we need to output this. Doesn't matter if the negative 100 is saturated because that's only input. There's no automation connection to this without a pump. Um, I guess I could move this, and we could put a pump here. It's a bit wonky, but that's what's going to fit. Alright. Automation wire, or rather, green wire. Been playing too much Oni. Uh, and we just have to say, I don't know, less than... Tw less than 5k, let's say. Uh, is it possible... Let's just say everything less than 5k. That way there's no way I could give it the wrong signal. It's true if there are no inputs. Fantastic. Uh, is this possibly going to sort itself out while the other machines run? Because we're going to turn all thermofluid into negative 100. Let's see, negative 100. It's waiting on blank data cards. Blank data cards are waiting on nothing, actually. It's just a little bit slow. I think it will sort itself out, but I could also just make a little bit of extra storage temporarily for the negative 100. Just drink a little thermofluid. Automation wire, only Freudian slip, right? Yeah, glug, glug, glug. I mean, I could delete it if I was incredibly lazy and wasteful. Um, but I don't think I could quite tolerate that behavior from myself. Not to that degree. Uh, I feel like we probably shouldn't wait that long on getting some polarization data. Well, we're going to be bottlenecked on the blank data cards anyway. Actually. Yeah, it's, it's probably fine to just let it wait, I guess. What's the throughput? It's only 10 units every time we do this. Uh, and this consumes... F oh, there it goes. So this should... Oh, this one's still working off its backlog. Oh, no. Okay, in that case, I think I will make a little temporary storage here. Uh, but I'll leave enough room... So we can put a pump facing the other way. As soon as we've made room, we'll just make it a priority to empty this. Actually, that's not quite going to work. Because it would block this from outputting. Uh, I could put the pump here, I suppose? Hmm. 
If I delete it in the right order, it doesn't actually waste any fluid. And we'll be able to remove this once that's empty. Alright, that should work for a while. Well, indefinitely, actually. Uh, do we have 235 in this block? We do not. How about a delivery cannon chest up here? We do. And a delivery cannon. Yeah, I think this would be the way to go, actually. Unless, let's see the rate that this is filling up. It's pretty much stopped. We've, we've caught up on basically every resource. Uh, it's going to be a while before this launches again. Yeah, I think delivery cannon is the way to go to send up a thing or two at a time. We're, we're paying uh, cargo rocket sections in order to come up here. So paying... Uh, how much fuel do we need? Eight? That's fine. Oh, that's the wrong... There we go. Instead of paying cargo rocket sections, we'll pay delivery cannon capsules. Back to Hagen. Fantastic. Uh, taxi. What the? Why can't I? I couldn't click on it until it landed. Until I landed. Alright, wait for passenger, and then go back here, and wait for passenger not present. Beautiful. Uh, I don't think we have... We don't have delivery cunning capsules here. In fact, I don't think I've got them automated on the entire planet. Um, I could just have the autocrafter make a few. That seems reasonable. They're probably going to overshoot, but I'm not sure I care all that much. I'll just ask the autocrafter to make one. And since it only refreshes every 30 seconds, it might make a few. Now, where are we picking up our 235? Probably over here. Let's get our robots and stuff. Oh, there's our cannon capsules. I wonder how many it'll make. Oh, we're about to find out. Capsule. It made eight. That's pretty good. Uh, so, uranium 235. Request a chest. And go. And let's go pick some up. It's a very short trip, we'll just do it manually. But I'm only going to bring one stack at a time. Otherwise I'll die of radiation poisoning. Just 
just, uh, what is it, two stacks? Should actually be enough. To get the whole thing started at full speed. And go. Only 200 megajoules or so. Since it needs 30 to start a recipe, and we're giving it 200, uh, and the machines share the same input chests, well, the next 235 might go to this chest, actually. Oh, I didn't even give this one requests. That would probably help. Just try to use N to save yourself from uranium? Alright, I'll test it. But not for very long. Alright, so our health is... 60% along the small stone text plate. You can actually see... Wait. Really? You're joking. What? Are you are you kidding me? Is this how it is? So I can just have unlimited uranium in my inventory, like we're not playing. Oh oh, oh. and then when I jetpack, when I jetpack, it starts again. <laughs> Because it resets the player. You technically die whenever you use the jetpack. I guess we'll just walk back with our misbegotten loot. Oh, hey. That's actually trying to deliver copper ingots right now. I probably need to work on the balancing for those stations. Alright, this should be way more than enough to get all of the cover X going at full speed up here. Is it, where, where's the stone? I guess if it's not here, it's working. Uh, let's have a look over here. So, our provide... Stack threshold is one. Well, there's your problem. Only how is it looking for 68 that it doesn't have? Whatever, just get out of here. It shouldn't matter if it pushed it to the front like that. Um, but if we are going to do that, we should be checking if there's a train and stop pushing it forward if there is a train here. And I don't particularly feel like doing that for the next 16 stations, to be honest. Oh, it's already sent all of that uranium? Nice, that's our full speed cover X. You can completely disable damage from uranium by entering command anytime. As in, like, just disabling it as, like, a cheat or something? Alright, we'll leave this handy in case we want to send something else up. Alright, uh, so I guess that just leaves figuring out where we were up to with Holmium. Our plastic is saturated. That is a very good sign. Uh, I'll just add some tags here so we know what's what. This is biomatter. Low density structures are totally saturated. I like it. I love it actually. 
Uh, what about cargo rocket sections? Seems like they are chugging along at full speed. I, The thing I really love about this storage right here is we can immediately see how much, very roughly, how much we've got of each resource. Like, if there is a resource completely missing, we're going to see two by two of these chests empty. Very handy. But yeah, we are currently making cargo rocket sections at full speed. Uh, very, very nice. You can... Oh, I missed... I read that already, sorry. Um... Holmium. I recall designing it, but I don't know if we actually built it. I think we just designed it. Or maybe we didn't finish designing it. And then we probably had to chase a squirrel or two, like running out of uranium. Oh, here we go. Holmium powder. And you're trying to deliver here to make Holmium ingots. Cool. Oh, and I realized... The block that we made for Holmium ingots, which only gives us uh, 1.28 per second wants 64 holmium powder per second and the block that we made to make powder which is not small uh actually only gives us 10 holmium powder per second so we need five more of these to almost keep up with these ingots um also i don't know what's going on yeah. I actually set this up right. Oh, read train content, send to train. I wonder if that caused a problem somehow. Uh, also, also, why are we not making more? We've got inputs. Uh, we've actually got all the inputs, except... Oh, dirty water. Water output is a problem. Oh... Oh, how much water did we ask for? 75k out of 100. And the whole thing is net negative on water, right? Yeah, six, it consumes 65 water per second. Hmm. I wonder how it got backed up. Uh, I guess... I guess we'll just ask for water if we are almost completely out. Oh no, I, I that, that was one digit too many. Is this delivering water? It is. Please do not deliver water right now. It's fine. Shortage alert at Granis IO Rocket. Granis IO Rocket. What's the problem? I don't see a problem. Oh, it seems okay. Oh, storage alert. Uh, possible. Yes, yes, indeed. All right, let's go give it some more storage. Why do we have Vulcanite Core Fragments? Oh, I remember. We need to do something about that. Uh, how about here? Just, just go ham. Okay. Then, so this should work. Uh, I should probably allow this to push to the front. 
Oh, it's probably because... What's, what's the rate out of here? 10 per second. So normally everything would be in here. How did it get so lopsided? Like, the provide stack threshold is 80. The belts are much faster than this can produce. So we should end up with 40 stacks here before we end up with more than a stack here. Like, currently, if a train comes to pick this up, there's way too much holmium powder on this side. Yeah. But from an initial state, that would normally not be possible. I just trimmed your LCCL blocks to look cuter <laughs> and made a rotatable straight rail with proper end for outposting. Nice. Vlad, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Well, that's going to be a few ingots anyway. We should probably go ahead and make some more blocks for Holmanite. And I'm thinking another block right here. I'm just not going to worry about Prionite mines. We're going to be totally saturated on Cryonite the whole playthrough. Need faster belting to rebalance? Yeah, well, normally... Hmm. Maybe... No, no, no. Uh, I think what happened is because we didn't have the consumer... Because we didn't have a consumer for Holmium Powder... Um... We ended up with this thing completely saturated. Yeah, you're actually right. Hmm. In that case... I should probably... Instead of checking if there's a train... This actually makes it easier. Uh, instead of checking... If there is a train... We should probably just limit this to... Holmium powder has to be 40 stacks. Uh, let's see, 40 times 50, 2000, greater than 2k. So if there's more than a cargo wagon's worth here, we'll push it forward. That should be fine. Yeah, and then... I mean, I could set the provide stack threshold to like 81 to account for the little bit of holmium that gets stuck here. But if there's 80 stacks available in either or combined these two, then they should find their way into the train. Cool. I, I hope that's correct. We'll see how it plays out. Because that actually makes tidying up these stations to allow for short or long trains uh, much easier, actually. It also means it's going to be robust against if uh, for some reason we didn't have a consumer for a while, and then all of a sudden we did have a consumer big time. Um, that would actually work out pretty well. Alright, let's go build our second block for Holmium Powder. Uh, we'd still need several more if we want the ingots to go at full speed for the block that we made. But we don't necessarily need that. At least not yet. And I think most, if not all of that, should get built 
just from parking the train next to it. Limit the first one. I do want it to be able to accumulate multiple train loads. Cool. We've actually already consumed it all. That whole lot of holmium powder that was backed up there. Or at least we've delivered... Yeah, we c it's as good as consumed already. Look at how quickly that's disappearing. Uh, but yeah, we've actually got almost... Uh, we're on our way to eight stacks of ingots. Very nice. We need pulverizers in the train. We know we've got some space left over in the middle cargo wagon. We'll go for one stack of pulverizers. We usually don't need them, so I don't want to use up more than one stack, even if it takes multiple trips when we do need them. Uh, and then copy that over here. That will get supplied by the mall. It's actually already delivering them. Very cool. Alright. Bots are actually taking their sweet time picking that up off me. Uh, what are we going to do about these 28,000 Vulcanite core fragments? I was talking about this last time, actually. Um, it would be good if we had... A train stop that can provide stuff from the mall to the main rail network, but should probably do it down here. Uh, the problem is precise loading it. We're just going to set a provide stack threshold that's very high, so higher than the number of things we're requesting to be brought into the mall. 10k. That's, uh... 100 stacks? Okay. So if we have a provide stack threshold of, like... Let's say 160... How much have we got in terms of core fragments? We've got a... 1400 stacks. Yeah, um, I'll set the provide stack threshold to something like 160. And if we end up with that much of something, we want to donate it back to the rail network. Uh, we need to precise load it. I may just not worry too much about making this super fast. And this time... I'll just have it... Oh, I forgot. We've got the, uh... We've got the big containers. That'll help. How would this playthrough be without LTN? I would prefer not to. Uh... I think we're gonna have to get rid of one of our... Delivery... Delivery? Deliver ammo to media cannons. We've got... 12. That's pretty good. I could put another one like here, probably. I should really just set up some dedicated place for it, as opposed to this thing we threw together as quickly as possible in the mall. Uh, but yeah, I think we'll go request a chest. Whatever's in here, we don't want to say it's available to the mall. Um, we'll empty under certain circumstances. And we'll probably use the same logic we did over here, to be honest. Ex 
except if we're going to do two cargo wagons, we need to synchronize them. Hmm. In that case... I think it would be better if we use just one container. So we could have a pair of inserters for both. I think I'd like to do just one, even if it's slow, it'll be a lot easier. Potentially. In order to make your mini blocks rotatable, you need to set grid 86251 absolute. Uh, I mean, they're, they're symmetrical in four directions, so I'm not sure why you'd need to rotate. Uh, also, it's one of those things where with the snap to grid, it has to be slightly off center because of the way rail grids are. You can't actually set it with like offset of 25 25, uh, otherwise, it will complain. It'll just say grid position and blueprint position coordinates need to be either all even or all odd. Okay. Uh, let's see. We'll need a robot port to report what's available to LTN. I don't want to feed it any... I don't want to tell it that anything's available right now. Uh, we're gonna go... Provide stack threshold 160, perhaps? That's two full train loads, and we've been requesting less than that. I think. Steel plate 8.5k. Uh, yeah, that's a bit over one train load. Okay. And then we have to wait for the train to arrive before we can read what the train is looking for from the logistic train stop output we're going to set requests request from buffer chests and then i think i'll just have a filter inserter here, and we're going to blacklist whatever is being requested. So once the train leaves, we'll empty this. Uh, the bots will overfill it, but I think that's probably fine. I could set like a an arbitrary limit. Oh, I could simply limit the stacks here. That seems a good way to go about it. I guess we didn't need as big of a chest here, but that's okay. Um, the only trouble is... Well, if I'm going to use the stack inserters... We have to wait until there's enough stuff here to fill the train. And to do that, we're back to not being able to read what's in this thing if we're setting requests. So we either have an arbitrary timer before we start shoving things in, because we need to keep this even. If we have just one stack inserter, it's not going to, like, over-insert and get stuck, right? Question mark? I guess we can try it. Uh, and this should be long trains only. Alright. Uh, 
let's call this all excess provider. Let's see how it goes. We should see a train scheduled here to pick up coal or vulcanite core fragments immediately. Is your copper plate doing loops in the mall on the LTN? Uh, I don't think so. I've got it set up with uh, encoded network IDs so that these two stations can't interact. So they shouldn't be. Alright, so this is requesting Vulcanite core fragments. Uh, we should probably set filters whitelist on these two. Uh, whitelist. And what I'm curious about is... Uh, despite the sporadic supply... Maybe I should do a few more stacks because this stack size is so small. I think we're limited by the bots anyway. Maybe not. Uh, my question here is... Will we end up with this with something stuck in its hand sometimes? But I'm guessing the answer's no if we only have one inserter per cargo wagon. And it shouldn't need too much throughput overall. Uh, it's only coal and uh, core fragments, and that's only because... Oh, maybe stone as well. Um, it's only because cargo rockets crash sometimes, and some of the resources come back to the mall. And that may be fixed. Uh, I definitely want to know when we get another cargo rocket crash, because I want to see if the extra chests we added are going to be enough. is taking its sweet time. Did we already have a train leave, actually? Wait, how many trains are scheduled for this stop? Seven? Okay. That's, uh... That's at least seven. Well, with stack size of 20, it shouldn't take too long to sort out, I guess. Maybe I should set a train limit. Uh, let's say two. Alright. It is sticking out. Oh no. Uh, that's a problem. I could only allow short trains to pick up, but some of our drop-offs, a lot of our drop-offs actually, we only allow long trains. Because otherwise things are going to get imbalanced, I think. Well, if we're only asking for two train loads of stuff, um, it shouldn't ever get imbalanced, I guess. Not imbalanced enough to be a problem. Because the entire two train loads could be here, and that wouldn't actually cause any issues. This can take eight cargo wagons. Uh, this would be half full if it's two cargo wagons of stuff, ignoring the chest. I already did a supplier for short trains up here. And it's a lot more fast and sophisticated. Hmm. The easy way to do this would be to set these to stack size 1, but obviously that would be agonizingly slow. Do 
to keep these in sync, we would have to wait until there's 80 stacks of stuff here to be absolutely sure. And the only way to do that would be with an arbitrary timer, because we can't measure how much is in here. Hmm. Unless we use multiple chests. What if we had, like, a requester here? We just put everything in here. We set the requests. We set these filters. We read contents from this chest. Uh, doesn't have to request anything. And then... We just have a timer. And we'd have to, like, wait a minute or two or something to be sure there's... Wait, no, we can read from here, but we can't read how many stacks. Um, I could limit this to 80 stacks, and then when this inserter is stopped, we know that time has passed, but then we would need a memory cell because this would swing again at the moment we start putting things into the train. That might be the way to go. Okay, so limit to 80 stacks. Uh, read contents. Set requests on this one. Uh, we have an inserter here. We have... We'd need a timer. T1. Uh, if T... Well, I don't know what the condition is going to be. Output T, input count. And this is going to... We don't know what it's going to be picking up. We want to... Read hand contents. Pulse or hold doesn't really matter. Probably hold. Unconditional. And we would want this to output T as long as we don't detect anything from this. But we can't use a wildcard like anything or everything because it needs to have T as an input. We could just measure the amount of time that's passed with stuff in its hand. Hmm. I want to know when this hasn't been swinging for a little while. But this, the, the signal that we get when it does swing, we don't know what that's going to be. Uh, we could go like... It's not right. This isn't. This is going to be connected to its own input. So we can't say like if if everything is not equal to one or something, or if anything is not equal to one. T one here becomes T two next tick. Hmm. It really would be nice if we could check a condition on the red or green wire specifically. I think we'd need more combinators. Why not try using bulk rail loaders and then emptying them when the train has left the station? 
Um, well, there would still be the problem of... That might make sense, actually. Oh, this... No, that's fine. Hmm... Can we stop with the trains? I guess there's only a couple more. If we fill up the bulk rail loaders, wait till the inserters stop swinging to input into them. Yeah, I think I would just need more combinators, unfortunately. Get an... Like, if anything greater than zero outputs some arbitrary signal. Um, S for swing. Maybe. And then... Have a timer that says if S equals zero... Output T, input count, T for time, input of 1 constantly. It really feels like it shouldn't be necessary to have that many combinators for this. Uh, if anything greater than 0, output S for swing. If swing not detected, run the timer. If timer is greater than some amount, start inputting to the train. Request a chest bulk rail loader, train load, detect no train, empty. Yeah. I think that would be a good way to go. But first we have to wait till these trains stop, so we can clear it. I thought they were actually stopping already, I forgot I didn't turn that off yet. We've gone through about half of the core fragments already. So that's good. May as well do this. These things are imprecise anyway. Alright, what is it? Two more trains? Two more... One more train, I think. Because this one's already going somewhere. Cool, cool, cool. Won't be long now. Uh, how's our Holmium? We're looking at 13.5 stacks of ingots, that is. That's not terrible. Is this one working yet? It is not. We also need filtration plants. Um, that's not going to be too often, but at least for now. Stack size 25. We'll put those in our construction train. We should hear a sound. That was quick. Uh, we should hear a sound the moment that is loaded. Alright, so we've emptied this now. Looks like. And why do we still have requests here? We're reading it from the logistic train stop output, right? Set requests. Where from comes this 1.6k... Vulcanite core fragments?
If I mouse over the logistic train stop output, it doesn't say we're requesting it. I haven't accidentally made a memory cell somehow. Set requests. Oh, read. Set requests and read contents. Yeah, this is. Okay. Let's just put all that back into the network for the moment. Pick this up. Get some loaders down here. Is that right? That is one off. That is also one off, I believe. Why don't I just use the blueprint that I have? Okay. And let me help you. Doop a doop. What are we researching? Uh, I don't really care at this point. Laser shooting speed. Oh, Military 5. I'm kind of curious about that heavy rocket launcher. Railgun turret? Oh, let's get tool belt. Yes, please. That's going to take a minute. Uh, we can't do mining productivity 5 yet. We don't have optimization tech cards, I don't believe. All time tech card. Wait, why is it showing everything? Yeah, we haven't made those. Okay, this is empty. Fantastic. Keep that logic handy. Probably just put a requester here. And an active provider here. And then... Uh, I think I'll keep the chests closer and use some belts so it'll be faster. Let's go with... Oh right, that won't actually fit, will it? That... that doesn't leave room for a splitter. Um, let's limit each of these to 40. And something like this. It's going to be a few items stuck on the belt. That's fine. And up this way as well. Oops. I don't care as much how fast we empty it. Or do I? I probably should. Okay. Can that wire reach? Oh, it doesn't have to. Or maybe it does, actually. Okay. So I want to say... Read from the robot network. Anything that is 160 stacks is available. Uh, that's fine so far. It didn't actually override the station name when I used this. That's kind of nice. And we're going to read from the logistic train stop output. 
to decide... Oh, that's already connected. Uh, to decide what we're putting in the requester chest. And then... And then what, exactly? No, the YMS. Uh, I think we want to say if a train is detected. Hmm. Oh, I can read from this uh, to see if the light is yellow. So if a train is on the way... If the light is anything but green, I think, we do not... Yeah, uh, if green signal is greater than zero. So if there's no train and there's no train coming, we can throw stuff back into the robot network. The moment that a train is scheduled, this will be yellow. I think it's blue when the train is actually here. It's definitely not green. I I'm pretty sure it's not green. Can we chase a train somewhere? Yeah, it's blue. Fantastic. Okay, that's a good way to do it. Robot Wars, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That's neat, indeed it is. Uh, we are making a fast uh, loader for two cargo wagons offering... Anything that we get an excessive amount of in the main bus, but main bus uh, in the mall, and that does happen because, for example, rockets crash. Uh, not all of the items get put back where they're supposed to, because the bots are in too much of a hurry to put things into the storage chests. Uh, we've got like, I could like just supply like ten storage chests. Uh, for each resource, but that feels really excessive for this build. Um, instead, like the filtered Vulcanite core fragments, they'll all come here, but the bots are going to be in a hurry, so they're going to put Vulcanite core fragments here as well. I suppose I could limit the bot count here, but I don't want to do that either. Immo, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so yeah, instead, because we ended up with like 50k Vulcanite Core Fragments, 40k Coal, 30k Stone, we're only asking for like, I think it's like 85 or 100 stacks from, for certain things from the, uh, from the rail network. Uh, anything that reaches 180 stacks, we're gonna just offer it up to be removed. I wish I could whitelist certain things to be available here as well, but, well, I could with some combinators that would take, it would take, like, a pair of combinators for each resource or something. I'm not fond of that. So once the train is scheduled, these two belts are going to switch off. Um, because the light's not going to be green train gets here, we're going to read from the logistic train stop output, which is going to set requests here. Uh, once the train has its... well... To be honest, I could limit these to like a stack each. Perhaps. It'll definitely make cleaning it up easier. Um, but yeah, once the train has its stuff, it's going to leave. Then these are going to activate again. Uh, and we're going to empty. There's going to be no set requests on this. That's going to empty. It's going to go through here and back to the robot network. And that should, in theory, do the job. Without a single combinator. Alright, let's find out. So yellow light means these... Belts have stopped. Train is on its way. Here it comes now. 
Request set to Vulcanite Core Fragments, 1.6k. In other words, 80 stacks. Uh, it's flowing directly. Yeah, we definitely don't need more than a stack in the bulk rail loaders. Uh, it is flowing into the train immediately. And we don't have any inserters getting Vulcanite Core Fragments stuck in their hands. So we don't have to worry about a, like, a timer or something, because we can't read and set requests at the same time. Uh, we don't need to know... We don't need to wait until the train... Um, and, until there's enough stuff to fill the train to start swinging the inserters that we don't have, because we don't have to keep them in perfect sync. Oh, another train is coming... Wait, wait, wait. That train could be looking for something different. Oh, no. Um, what if I set the train limit to one? That might do the job. If a train is scheduled again immediately, we're not actually going to be able to empty... Uh, I guess I could do this as well. The exact same belt logic. Makes it easier to read as well. Uh, that doesn't necessarily help. If a train is scheduled again straight away... Does this go green once the train has left? Or does it not go green until the train has finished its job. I, I think it goes green. Hmm. I wish we could set filters on the express loaders. Hmm. I'm only concerned now about when that's still yellow. Like, if we schedule a train to pick up something other than Vulcanite Core Fragments, uh, we're gonna have a problem. We also have set train limit one. Yeah, I did that, but, um, I don't know if we're still waiting for that to catch up, or if LTN can just schedule a train that quickly again. Maybe change from green greater than zero to blue is not equal to one. So blue means we have a train here. Um, if I set it to blue is not equal to one, then we're going to needlessly cycle items before the train gets here, but if if that's enough to make this work, I don't necessarily care. Um, if this train is looking for coal, it could still get... Oh, no, that emptied pretty quickly, actually. If the stack size was bigger, maybe it'd be a problem. So now we're looking for core fragments again. Hissing Walnuts, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Fatboy, not so slim. Conby, Swazny, uh, Maxine, good to see you again also. Astronis is taken. Good to see you again as well. It did go green for a tick or two. Hmm. A multi loader station, yes. Not difficult to make a multi-loader station work, uh, difficult to make it work and be fast, and never cause problems. And by fast, I mean not agonizingly slow. Okay, yeah, I think, I think that's gonna work, and I don't think I care too much about the wasted bot movement. Theoretically. How much are we down to now? 
Uh, I saw it. 2.5k. 2.6k. Latest version of your magnum opus of multiloader stations. Indeed. Fat boy not so slim. Thank you very, very much for the 11 months. Much appreciated. Thank you so much. Unload from bulk loader when no stopped train. And load into loader only when stopped train. Um... It won't load into the train when there's no train because we're not setting requests. Like, as soon as the train leaves, this won't have any set requests, so... The moment this is emptied... That won't actually matter. And this is basically saying a train has to be there. Well, no, if there is a train not here, empty this. I mean, we could. So it'd be something like the opposite for this one. If blue signal equals one. Um, I was going to say I'm surprised I'm not seeing the trains coming to pick up coal or stone, but I guess we're saturated. Uh, let's set this as a high priority. I definitely want them to empty this first. Um, but yeah, it seems like we've already caught up. Uh, I guess the next coal delivery is going to come from here. Well, if we find trains with random items in them in the relatively near future, this is probably the reason. Is it okay that your depot multiplies CC output by 4? Uh, what do you mean by that? CC output. Now there can be something still on the belt when the train leaves. Uh, that's true. It could be stuck here. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about that one. It'll just have to go through here quickly. Seems to work so far. Alright, so ingots. We have... Not that many, actually. Is our holmium working? Uh, we haven't finished this build yet, but also... Water got filled again? How does this happen? I mean, I could add something to vent water, but if everything's working, and I'm pretty sure I checked this to be a zero ratio, a one-to-one -one ratio, so we've got like um, 10 beads per second. Beads per second only consumes 8.3. Okay, does this produce water? No, it consumes it. So we're gaining a little bit of water compared to our expectation here. But 5 steam per second, that's pretty trivial. Um, we're gaining 40 water per second. Where do we consume the water? Oh! So this is saying it can consume 106 water per second. Uh, but in reality, we're consuming less than 5. No wonder it's filling up. So we are net positive on water here, but rate calc is a little bit misleading if we don't read between the lines. We're not actually consuming 106 water per second, we're consuming less than 5, which means we're gaining like 35 water per second. Okay. In that case, we should just add a flare stack. Or we could offer water to the rail network, but like, we're on a planet with water, 
Um, I think it'll be okay if we don't do that. But it wouldn't be a problem to add that over here. Let's just flare stack it. It's just water. Flare stack. Water is free, indeed. At least for now. Oh, and we haven't actually built this yet. Let's get our construction train, which should have the items. And I'm pretty sure I don't even need to tell it to wait for inactivity there. So, flare stack. Uh, we still want to make sure there's some water. Which means we're going to need a pump, just for logic. If I put it on the opposite side of the steam... Okay, this is an experiment. Um, theoretically, this will get all the input of water first. Uh, it's going to cause endless deliveries of water, though, unless I remove this once we get it started. Yeah, I don't really want to do it that way. Let's just add a pump. have to move around the substations. Grumble, grumble. Uh, how about... It's not even powered. Oh, yes it is. Could I, perhaps... That won't even reach... God damn it. I don't want to have to move the substations or anything, but it's looking necessary. Surely there's some way clever we can put this. Like right here? That is powered. And we can connect it thusly. And then not find a way to get power across. No! Oh, the tragedy. Just add another substation? I refuse, if at all possible. Uh, I think I'm going to have to, though. What a mess. Doesn't actually help anything. To it's one off. I could just move these two up, perhaps? Nope. No symmetry today. Fine, I'll move this up one. So we're just going to say if water greater than uh, 99k, there's our train ready, construction train that is, and same thing over here, but we'll have to pick the dollies this up one tile, also we do need a electric boiler which I haven't put in the construction train because it's such a rare build. We just need one heat shield. I'll steal it from here. And a centrifuge? Can I handcraft that? Grumble, grumble. Uh, I actually just need heat shield for that as well. I should have picked up some more. Gimme, gimme. Gimme. 
centrifuge go burr. And I believe that is our build. Cool. So only when the tanks are basically full, uh, we're going to vent the water. And that'll be that. Alright, so we are getting uh, a whopping 20, I believe. Uh, 20 holmium powder per second, which is a little less than two-fifths. No, two-sixths. It's a, it's a bit less than a third of what this can keep up with. So we're getting like... 20 to 30 holmium ingots per minute? That doesn't sound right. No, that's about right. Good thing holmium processing will get you to beacons faster. Yeah, that's true. Should I make a third one? Uh... Kind of feels bad either, either way. Like it, it feels crazy that we would need... Um, maybe I should have put more of this in the same block. We've got space here. But putting more things in the same block means ratio issues uh, when we upgrade it. Whatever. I probably should have, in hindsight... Um, Put the furnaces and casting machines in this block here. Instead of putting the holmium powder through the rail network. We've got enough stations to output. We could output stone here instead. Ingots here. And we would need, let's see, 10 per second. Uh, we would need about 4... Furnaces, about 50 molten per second. About four furnaces and five casting machines to keep up with this. So, obviously, we could do that. I think I'll do that next time I expand. Uh, this will probably do for now. I could send up holmium ingots. Uh, it's literally just one operation to turn them into plate, right? Just one to one. Uh, ten per ingot. Fantastic. Yeah, I think I'll go and grab the ingots that we have already and just shove them into the rocket. It's probably getting relatively close to launching on its own already. I believe it's down here. Uh, oh yeah. That's actually really good timing. Another 15 stacks and it's going to launch by itself. Cool, cool, cool. Let's check on this other one. It's not overcrowded still. Nope, seems good. Is Granis still able to supply us with coal and vulcanite core fragments? We seem to be missing space capsules. Yeah. Uh, there's, there's one over here. Mm -hmm. Well, that would only be one launch anyway. So we're definitely asking for 30 capsules at the moment. But the other stuff hasn't 
reached a threshold where we're going to send more. We've got the 30 capsules here. To absolutely ensure... Well, if, if we were also launching coal um, or petroleum, that would actually help. But we're, we're totally saturated. Coal and petroleum has been a wild ride. Uh, we've gone from complete poverty to just total saturation with these resources. But if those two were still moving, I'm pretty sure it would trigger a launch to resupply cargo rocket sections over here. Hmm. You have it or you don't, pretty much. We either have a surplus or the opposite of that. At this point, uh, I was going to say it would have been easier if I'd just done multi-rockets, but like... A rocket full of space capsules is a bit over the top. Besides, this, this does function... Uh, when I I meant to say multiple cargo ro uh, landing pads, cargo rocket silos, but like, if we're asking for 50 stacks, uh, 500 stacks of each resource, this works just as well. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna try just bumping up. The number of space capsules we ask for and it's gonna take a while to get another 70 I think if it doesn't launch by then I'll just send it so that's 50 that's 62 already and we're bringing another 40 wow that was quick uh, and that's going to leave us with like 100 and 220 stacks still unused. Just manually launch it, then it's good for 30 rockets, yeah. I could set a condition whereby... Hmm, launch on green signal when tut and full. That's... Full plus a timer. Well, that's... This logic already includes full plus a timer, I think. If I change it, though, there's a really small chance, like 1 in 600, uh, that it, the timer gets stuck on a specific tick. Okay, 10 in 600. And then we launch... for no reason. I was trying to think of a way to add a condition whereby... If we... Oh, this is the wrong cargo rocket. Okay. Launch on cargo full... I could change it to launch on green signal. We could detect when cargo is full. And that would be one condition for launch. And the other condition could just be... If we put a hundred space capsules in... And... We're not trying to put anything else in... That would work. So if this signal is nothing on this green wire... Okay. Decider combinators. Um, so I'm going to change this to green signal when fuel full. In other words, green signal. We're going to say if E equals zero means there's no empty cargo slots left. Oh. Uh, I could ignore that with a red wire. Okay, if E equals zero, output 
green signal. If everything on this wire equals zero, output not green signal. Let's say dot. If cargo, wait, where is it? Oh, uh, space capsule. Does it count the one that's in here? I think it does. Oh boy. Uh, this is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, wait, what? 71, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80, uh, plus 11, 91, 92, 100. But doesn't this normally give us a space capsule signal? Oh, it is giving us a space capsule signal, 101. Okay, uh, if this equals 101... That's going to be the other condition. And we're going to say if both of those conditions are true. Output green signal. So in other words, if we're no longer trying to load anything, and we have 101 space capsules, including this one, uh, just launch the rocket. So if dot equals two, could I do that with one less combi? Uh, I could. Output green signal, and then take input from both of those. Uh, and then if space cap if space capsule equals 101, output green signal, input count. So this has to be true, and this has to be true, and we don't need an extra combinator for that. Um, and then output green, output green. don't think it's a problem if... should probably use the green wire for these two. Alright, that should launch. C for cat. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, raiders. Welcome, Veldak. Good to see you again. Oh, someone already did. Yes. Thank you, Veldak, for the shout out command. Uh, Obada. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How's your stream, Sifa? Playing Factorio, indeed. Thanks for the shout out, of course. Um, I should probably hang around here and double check that we're not going to somehow launch prematurely. I really don't think we are, though, as much as this is a bit of a spaghetti mess of wires. Nullius continues to be a pain. Nullius? Is this a nickname for Nalvis? So yeah, to reiterate, uh, everything equals zero from this wire means we're no longer trying to load anything. This is true. Space capsule has to equal 101. This is not true. So we're not passing through that green signal. Empty is zero is not true. Uh, also, we have to get the 13 more cargo rocket sections before this will try to load anything. But it looks like it's not going to try to load anything right now. Oh, so Granus will start sending us Vulcanite core fragments again. Fantastic. Nellius is a mod. Okay, I thought I might have heard of that. 
It's not Pi, at least. I was going to say it reminds me of Pi, even though I haven't seen either of them. Uh, this is not trying to load anything. Okay. Volcano base name? Uh, sure, if you want. You mean Granus, right? Um, do we have... We've got 3k glass. I've got an automatic re resupply of steel, so maybe that would be better. We've got a bunch of assembly machines here now, right? Yeah, we can dedicate one to that task. Okay, plate. Uh, I imagine steel plate is going to look decent. Let's get that into the robot network. Do we have a passive provider? I don't think so. Remove that filter. Steel plate. Small steel text plate. Alright. And one stack. That's going quite quick. Awesome cat. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Ezriak, welcome also. Please? Please what? Build a hole in the chest bank. Uh, can we do that? We can. It's fine. This is fine. Alright, so steel... Is this going to look good? I hope so. Uh, robot Wolves, Wildcard, Wolves, what, why is it, is this going to work? It, it is actually. That actually looks really good. Uh, we should probably put it, uh, like here. Fantastic. And back to Hagen. Alright, I think I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I'm definitely happy with the flow of core fragments. And we've probably sent our Holmium up. We have sent our Holmium up. Which means science? Uh, we do indeed have conductivity data. We don't have a buffer for conductivity data, but I think I can probably live with that. Um, I don't appear to have a requester for the other types of data. Let's fix it. Good morrow, Andy Gaming. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Quest from buff for chests. We have energy catalogs. Here it comes. So we need energy catalog to get insight. It also gives us some blank data cards back. Uh, fluid is check. Fluid. Oh, that's supposed to happen. Oh, this is empty. Pretty much. Already. We can... Actually, no. I don't think I should do away with that. We'll wait till this gets lower. Remember about the scrap on the conductivity data. Oh, the output. True. Uh... How about a purple chest over here? If I have a long arm, it's not going to have a filter, though. But... Well, we can manage that. I'll just limit it, like the others, to a couple of hundred data. Conductivity data... Less than 200, which means we don't really need this inserter. Um, 
I guess I'll just get rid of it. Then again, it's going to reduce bot things. I think this pipe is max distance, so I couldn't put the chest here. Unless I put even more pipes. Which I don't really feel like doing. There's our insights. There's our blank data card output that we don't have. Whoops. And I don't know where I'm going to fit this, actually. I guess if I do an underground like this... Um... Okay. I'm gonna have this down here. This over here. And then we can have a filter for the blank data cards. I guess I could make it a buffer chest. Or a storage chest. Might make more sense. Blank data card. Blank data card. And that is reaping towards being our first energy science. We just need to add a request for Holmium plate over here. And that just leaves SIG data, which is just waiting on a few more insight. And it needs 26 more. Wow, okay. Uh, so that's 13 more recipes. 13 more catalogs. We're looking at 6 per minute. So in a couple of minutes we'll be building our first energy science pack 1. Which means we can get space rail, which means we can say goodbye to this spaghetti. Um, we'll have to start pushing through a lot more scaffolding. I think I'll do the thing, early on at least, where we don't build the whole thing with scaffolding. I think a cargo rocket has crashed on Hagen. Didn't take long. So we did indeed get core fragments sent back to the mall still. Even though we added another storage chest to pick those up. The alternatives are... Don't have enough bots that they would run out of space, theoretically, to put things into these chests, or a chest. Um, that might be the way to go, honestly. Because... Where's the stone coming from? Did it crash into a rock or something? I think it did. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get space capsules, cargo pods, apparently stone sometimes. Well, that's probably a limited time offer. Scrap, and in this case, core fragments. Sent back to the mall. It's already taking the core fragments away. Seems good. Okay, that's all working quite well, actually. What should we do next? Uh, the things we need for scaffolding... I haven't actually got it automated right now. LDS Heat Shield Steel Plate, we are definitely sending those up automatically. 
So I think we can just go ahead and build those indefinitely now. And actually, why don't I make this a storage chest? And I want to filter it for scaffolding. Uh, make it a buffer chest, actually, because I want to bring whatever scaffolding we already have. Scaffolding, 4800. How much is this that we've already got, just for perspective? Scaffolding, uh, tiles, 8.7k. So that's a couple of times what fits in that chest. That should be fine. You could add yellow chests near the new mole excess supplier to help bots? Mole excess supplier. Oh, you mean this thing? I mean, I could belt all the way up here for the purple chest. That would give them a bit of a hand. What's going on here? Oh, I see. That seems okay. Add yellow chests near the new mall. Oh, right, right, right. Yellow chests. Uh, that's a good point, actually. Anything that we definitely don't want in this particular robot network? Um... I was going to make it a storage chest, but at first I was going to make it a filtered storage chest, Vulcanite core fragments, but we're not actually going to completely empty. E even though I've filtered this, they're going to keep taking it back up here where it already exists. Hmm. I could just intentionally clear those, I guess. The other alternative was buffer chests, which might be the way to go, honestly. And I could set it to request anything that's not supposed to be in this mall that ends up here. Uh, how about... 8,000? 20 times 40? That's 800. The absolute dap. Yeah, that'll definitely help them out a bit. Uh, the other stuff that we accumulate a bunch of is coal and... Oh, we already sorted out stone a bit. That's good. We've got scrap that we're not dealing with. I should probably make a block to deal with scrap already. Um, let's start with... We've actually got an empty block here already. Let's do that. Recycling... Facility. Uh, here it is. Scrap. Scrap recycling. Iron, copper, stone, raw metals, heavy oil. If we're going to use bulk loaders, we need one, two, three, four stations for output. It's probably fine, to be honest. Um, depending on the rate, it might be good. Well, it'll definitely be better to leave room for a beacon for later. Could we do... Well, we could do 12 on each side. That's a lot, actually. Could we fit this twice, though? Uh, just barely yes and that leaves room for baby beacons as well we'd need four on each half block 
All right. Uh, why is this not lined up? Okay, so... Kind of weird how it's got three output directions. That looks correct. Great calc. Heavy oil is faster than I thought it would be, but... Oh, that's per minute. Uh, if we go through 24 scrap per second, we get 2.4 heavy oil. So we're not overly concerned um, about the shape of our pipes. And as for the solids, we get a whopping... Uh, what is this? 7 point... 8.2, 9.4 per second. So even a yellow belt would be enough. So pretty much just whatever aesthetic suits us uh, should be good here. I think I'd like to do it something like this. With the oil... If not that, then maybe like that. There's not going to be room on the outsides or the pipes. Is the thing. Then again... Hang on. Beacon. Beacon would go here. Baby beacon would go here. That's a problem, actually. It has to be exactly here, which means it's blocking the oil output. Maybe we just won't bother with baby beacons for this one. Uh, but the other thing I was considering... That actually lines up beautifully. So... Have those ones facing the same way? And have those ones like that. And then we could do a pretty normal belt output. Where are our substations going to go? Pretty much anywhere we like, more or less. That is going to work fine, actually. Cool. Yeah, I think I'll just not worry about the little beacons for this one. Probably. I mean, I could still use the little beacons. We just wouldn't get maximum... Uh... Bites, thank you very much for the 100 bits. Much appreciated. I was, half a, I was sort of waiting for the text-to-speech that usually follows. Thank you so much. Right middle substation is off-center. Right middle. Is it, though? And let me try yet again... To adjust the volume on that as well. It looks off-center? Is it because of the way the wires are connected? Maybe? Uh, Veldak, thank you very, very much for the resub. 12 months, wow. Much appreciated, thank you so much as well. Twitch anniversary. That sounds weird. Uh, alert box. I could have sworn I went over this yet again with the volume. Bits. Volume. It's on 
Let's put it on 2%. I literally can't go lower than that. Maybe I should just replace the sound effect. But Brunt, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Put it on 999%. I don't think I want to do that, to be honest. I just realized I completely forgot about the physical input for the scrap. That is a detail. You know what? It's so slow. We could do a sushi belt for both input and output. Let's do that. Let's be fancy. Uh, so... We'll have a belt like this or something. And... Have a belt like this or something. Oops. Why did I say evening? It's noon. It's evening for me. Ideas, sushi belt, indeed. So all we have to do is limit the uh, scrap input. Like the output is really, really slow. 24 per second in, uh, less than 10 out. 24 per second in is slightly more than half a belt. Half of a blue belt, that is. And we're looking at less than a quarter of a blue belt out. So if we do like six scrap per tile, can we do that? I think we can, probably. Not accounting for any prod modules. Uh, well, we're going to have faster belts and it's going to be slower, even though... like, So we should be able to adjust that pretty easily. Alternatively, I could have inputs going down this way both times. Uh, on both sides, and then recycle any scrap that comes through here. Oh, how many output stations did I say we needed? One, two, three, four. We could do two here. But if we're going to double this one day... Uh, I could do a multi-station if we don't use bulk rail. But I kind of want to do bulk rail if I can. I remember how I made amazing recycling. I also, uh, it also split the outputs efficiently. Then I belted ores into one shared rocket and face palmed. Uh oh. Undoing your own good work. Um, I want to design this as if we're going to do double from the start. Yeah, we're going to have to do smart loaders. Which I think make a lot of sense here because... All of the individual outputs are quite slow. And... We could actually... Well, a 2x2 two two won't be big enough. Physically. Uh, we could do a storehouse. How many stacks is this? 256. So that's like 128, is it? I should know that. Um, 128 stacks is like one and a half train loads. Or I could just do a bigger container since we have room for it regardless. Uh, we could do a stack filter input. We could set the stack size. Instead of setting it dynamically, since all of these have a stack size of 50,
if we set this to stack size 10, well, for now it's going to be stack size 5, because we don't have the best inserters. But that'll definitely be able to keep up with this slow thing. Um, instead of... Oh, I could actually do... A pair. Right? 40 stacks over 50. Uh, point 0.8... Hold on, no, no. 40 stacks divided by 2, 20. These would do 20 stacks each. I think if those were stack size 10, that would still work. So by having one chest, we know that's balanced. We know these will be in sync. We'll do stack size 5 until we have stack size 10. So without doing any fancy circuitry, we should end up with that perfectly loading the train without holding on to any items. Storage on the other side for more inserters. Uh, we could do that, but the chest would have to be smaller and we'd have to like balance it. I, d I don't really care about it. Like the throughput that where we produce solid objects from here is going to be so slow, I don't care if it takes a little while to load the train. Um, so that's going to go about here. And we're going to need heavy oil pickup from... Is one of these going to be slower? Uh, the one that takes 10% stone and 5% raw rare metals, I guess, is going to be slower overall. So we could do it like this. And I guess it doesn't really matter where we put the pumps. Seems good. And that's going to go... That doesn't line up very well. That's actually fine, I guess. If we do it like this way, or this way, I think I like that better. those up here. The ones in the middle like this. Seems a good. Oh, that one should be connected there. And because the whole thing is really slow, 4.8 heavy oil per second, even when we beacon it up, uh, it's not going to be fast enough that we have to worry about the shape of the pipes. Are you sure it's going to be slow? My map outputted quite a lot. This entire block, 48 scrap per second in. Uh, 14.4 plus 2.4, 16.8 product out. Max beacon it. Uh, let's see. Prod nines. We can't prod this actually. I guess speed nines. We've already got those. Uh, and I want some efficiency so we get minimum power consumption. Probably going to need a little bit more than that since we have speed modules in here. Actually, they should be... Let's see, plus 400, so one more. That is minimum power consumption. Uh, we have 48 times this. That's going to be a bit faster. 
Uh, let's see. 129.6 plus 21.6. 151.2 out, 432 in. Uh, our fastest belts, though, go at 90 per second. So twice that of a blue belt. Uh, so we can have 180, 360 per second going this way. Uh, was it 48? Yeah, 48. Um, but that kind of discounts how the scrap's going to disappear halfway down. Some of it is. I could also do more input belts later on if I want to. The machines can't have prods, this is correct. Yeah, I think we can manage. Okay, so we want... Limited... 12 per second, that's like... A bit more than a quarter? Let's just do half a belt on each of these. So we're going to have like... Delivery cannon chest to take from both of these and put it into one container. Because it's 3x3. Three three. We're going to have... Floaters. There they are. We're going to have splitter. And we're going to have... Well, I could just put it back up here instead of doing like the usual. But it doesn't really matter. Priority input. Actually, no, I should... Does it matter? I think it does. Priority input from the recycled bit. Uh, then we'll get 50% of a belt going through here. But on both sides of the belt. So if we have 22 per second scrap, we've got room for 22 per second of everything else on the output. That should be fine. Yeah, uh, that, that should be all it takes, honestly. And then maybe like this. Uh, I was going to flip it, but there's no room. Kind of like that. Oh, wait. No, there's... I already thought about this. If we put this back in here instead... And that should, that should work as well. And we don't need an input priority, right? We're going to get 50% of a belt coming through this way regardless. Which means we could do it... There's no room. It's the same problem, there's still no room. You absolute klutz. Alright, let's just do it this way. Or... If we are going to do it like that, I kind of like this. There we go. That's what I was going for. I think that's the neatest way to go about it. So, let's do a sample input. Uh, let's give it some power. We've already done that, but not properly. Actually, we're almost done with the power. Let's just do this. Uh, KNH, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Why not single output, then split it? Could 
do that, that would probably be simple. Then again, what if this somehow... This isn't going to back up, though. Yeah, you're right. That would be a lot more elegant. Um, I actually just want to check if this works first. Scrap. And it does. Anno, uh, thank you very much for the Prime sub. Much appreciated. Thank you. This is nice and symmetrical, though. But needlessly putting stuff back into the container. Alright, so we'll definitely have room for both input and output. Like this. Seems a good. Uh, that's assuming, of course, we've finished the belt, which we haven't. So what I want to do here is... Scrap goes back up here. But now that I think about it, uh, if we do the usual belt filters, we're going to need multiple splitters. Which is going to end up looking untidy. Let's just void that for a second. Oops. Oops. Also, that's kind of saturated. Uh, could you stop? There we go. That's way too full. We can't actually control these. Uh, we could have it priority input go back to these two. Why is that a ghost? What? Are we not in editor mode? Oh, my inventory's too full. Okay. So, for example, input priority left, input priority right. Then again, that's going to saturate, isn't it? If I had the one splitter coming from there, that's not going to help. Hmm. Uh, this right here definitely doesn't help either. We need to actually make sure both sides of the belt go through. Then again, I guess we're going to get the same amount of bottleneck. I think we should do this part properly instead of what I ended up doing. Um... So, like... This goes here. That has input priority. And that goes somewhere. And we get 50-50. Especially after we delete this. Alright, so that's 50-50, I think. No, it's not. Hold up. I think... Oh, I forgot the second splitter. 
because we need to limit this to one belt. No? Do I have a blueprint for this? I'm blanking on how it how it normally looks. I think we have red here. So it's kind of like this, basically. And then input priority. That should give us 50-50. Assuming we're consuming and or recycling. No? What am I missing? Mine Mousecraft. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. You have to only have one input on a splitter. Uh, Alright. Where's my blueprints? Sushi... Space Sushi Bus? I don't think that's it. Uh, I have it right here, but I don't think we can place all of that. In this place. It's not going to crash or anything, is it? Please don't crash. going to be a moment because we're placing lots of signals. Yeah, that is it. Input priority left. Oh, output priority left. No, that's not an actual output priority. That's just forbidden. And this one's normal. So what am I doing wrong with this? Or did I just pick something where it's really hard to see that they're actually separated? That is quite possible. Um, let's pick iron plate. Yeah, I did get it right. It's just so hard to tell with the blueprints as a sample. Exactly. Okay. So that does give us a 50-50. Um... And... Where do we want to put it exactly? It's got to be here, right? That's a lot of blueprints. So if we do it like that, we do get the 50% output. Plastic. Which means as long as we recycle this uh, properly, and I don't think putting it back into... Well, I could put it back into the bulk rail loaders. Or unloaders. Either that or I could filter it back into here. So we're getting half a belt from here, half a belt from here. It's going to get consumed... We're going to get 35% of one scrap as some other physical output. So it, it sh so 65% of the time it makes an extra space on the belt. Um, if we bring our scrap back up like so, I think I'll use a container as well. 
um, just because it's a lot neater when we're dealing with lots of filters. Scrap. And that's going to go... Oh, it actually reaches halfway across. That's pretty neat. Let's move this over a tile. And we're going to priority input from this side, I think. Which means that's going to get stuck. Which is probably fine, question mark? No, I think priority input here isn't enough. Uh, what we need is... to stop this belt if there's anything here. Because otherwise we're going to get a full belt of input. Yeah, okay. Uh, anything... If everything equals zero... Wait, what? Oh, this is not read contents. That's not quite right. How much stuff fits on a corner? Seven. Okay, so if scrap is less than seven, seems good. Let's move this over a tile for the aesthetic of it. That's where our sub uh, substation. That's where our uh, bacon is supposed to be, though. And then this goes here. And then we shouldn't accumulate scrap here. Uh, even if we have something similar on this side, I think. That doesn't look thousand percent great. Got to input recycled before sushi. Uh, we are doing that. It's got input priority. Oh, you mean this one should be backward? No, I think we have to input the the stuff that comes back from here first. Otherwise it'll eventually back up. And if this backs up uh, we're just going to stop this. It's not... Hmm. I don't think we're getting the 50-50 here, though. Because this is... Hmm. Alright. Let's try it this way. Whoops. So that's going to guarantee a 50-50 here, but is this going to back up? Uh, I'm pretty sure it is, especially if both sides are coming into this. Hmm. Oh, I could also... I could also merge some of this back in over here. Very well. Unfortunately.
So it looks like we're getting our 50-50 working properly for the input. But I bet we're accumulating scrap here. No, it's going down. I just joined. What's the goal of this build? Uh, I built, like, basically this half block and then realized I didn't leave room for the inputs. Uh, and then I thought, well, look at the rate. We could actually do all the inputs and outputs on one belt, in theory. In theory. Unfortunately, the scrap is slightly more than half a belt, so we can't just put the input on one side and the output on the other. So we're trying to do a fancy sushi belt that leaves room for the output. Which, uh, to my surprise right now, actually, uh, seems to be working. Because the scrap, uh, the amount of scrap in this chest is going down. And... Oh, I think we wanted to prioritize. Output priority like this. Layla Sims, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, so 50% of the recycled from down here is going to go back to this one. 50% back to this one. Priority input from this loop, uh, so that we get the 50-50 output, and uh, as I said, to my surprise, it is keeping net negative scrap uh, in this chest. So that's cool. So then all we need to do, uh, I guess I could make this Hmm. How many train loads is this? 512 over 80 is 6.4. I could do a smaller container here, perhaps. And a bigger one up here might be better. Oh, but then we could only fit one inserter. Hmm. And this is as far forward as it can be. I was just looking at the layout of the output from here. Oh wait. Actually, we can have more than one filter, right? So, this can be iron and copper. Oops. And it shouldn't... Well, the only trouble is it's going to do one resource before the other most of the time. Is that a problem? I don't think so. Maybe if it gets in a weird state where it's fully backed up or something. This is going to be a priority pickup, though. It should probably be fine. And then this one is going to be stone and rare, raw rare metals. Um, and that's going to go over here. And we're going to have to build it... We're going to have to build this side as well from the get-go. Or at least the belts on this side. Um... Oh, I could move that up one. Then again, there's no reason. Yeah, so something like this, but flipped around. Can't use red belts in space. Uh, this is indeed a ground setup. Uh, I might end up doing a different build in space. Oh wait, the, uh, the space transport belts are actually as fast as blue belts. 
it's just that the undergrounds would be shorter, which isn't really a problem here. Yeah, that'll be okay. Alright, so... That's gonna go there. That's gonna go... There. I don't believe I did it over this side. And then output belts, just like over here, except we're going to swap the filters for that one. Uh, this is actually... Might be better if I do it this way. And I don't think we can do the exact equivalent for iron and copper here, can we? What would be the neatest way to do this? Uh, I'm thinking like this, to be honest. Even though it leaves a little something to be desired. So if we then put this over here, and this up here, and give it our sample input. Also, it shouldn't matter if we overfill these ones uh, with this layout. Let's get a substation, I was going to say substation pylon, but sadly no. Let's get some power over here. If I had a reason to build a big ground setup for scrap in space, on the other hand, rod science is funny. Indeed. We will have space elevators late, uh, but... Okay, and then uh, we're not actually going to need this much throughput for a while. I could go to the trouble of removing the ones on the right at first. I think for the blueprint we'll just include this and we can trim some stuff. Oh, and I wanted to test this side as well, just to be sure. So that's looking pretty good. It's looking very good, actually. There is no overkill, there is only open fire and I need to reload. Uh, I can't be symmetrical with this. Oh wait, does this even reach? It doesn't. So we'll put the substations here. And here. This will be high priority pickup. Because if anything fills up, everything stops. Active provider pickup. Uh, we don't need fluids for this one. I guess we could allow short trains. Yeah, we could allow short trains. Not that I think there's any drop-offs that allow short trains for iron and copper. Uh, so that'll be short train, long train. Provide threshold 50k for the fluid. Uh, and now we just need to name them. 
Request uh, stations. Uh, let's see. Don't think I care if it's short or long train. Request stack threshold 80. Scrap. Uh, 160 stacks. So two double trains. I think that's, uh, 12,800. Oh, wait. 8,000. That's what I thought. 8k scrap. On, um, whoops. On both sides. Station name. Scrap. Is requested. Goes into recycling facility. Out comes iron, copper, uh, raw rare metals, and oh, I forgot stone. Stone and heavy oil. And don't forget to let LTN know how much we've got. I guess as long as we're not requesting much, it's not strictly necessary to tell it what's in this chest, but that's fine. And then pickup stations, iron, and copper. Stone, raw rare metals, and heavy oil. Cool. Oh, and I almost forgot. Uh, we're going to need to set... No. Set filters. Stack size can just be 5 or 10. Uh, but we're setting filters to whatever physical object the train is asking for. And just by virtue of the stack size being 5 or 10, and having two stack inserters per cargo wagon, uh, that should ensure... Oh, and a sufficiently high provide stack threshold. Um, that should ensure that we input a precise amount. Cool. Is that actually backed up? Oh yeah, because we're not actually... Wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute. There we go. Fantastic. It actually looks about as neat as we could hope for, I think. Fantastic. All right, let's blueprint this sucker. Remove all the cheat items. We could also remove it in post. Uh, that is actually looking extremely tidy. I like that. All right, blueprint. Uh, scrap. Recycling. Train stop names, snap to grid 86 and 24 offset. And I think that's it. Add it to our blueprints. Uh, I don't really have a book for, like, utility stuff just yet, but we'll put it down there for now. All of our research is finished. How about Hypercooling 2? How about Military 5? How about... We didn't finish Swarm Set... Oh, wait, it was Military 5 we were researching before. Uh, Portable... 
Emersite solar panels. We don't have any Emersite yet. Beacons, it's about time. Uh, stack inserters, it's really about time. Efficiency three. Just knock this stuff off. Could actually set it to 86, 86, 25, 25, 1, 1. Uh, no, it'll tell us that we can't... We can't set the offsets to... What do you mean the third column 1, 1? What is that? You're kidding. Uh, which one did we just do? The recyclers? Where did I put them? That does indeed appear to snap. So what even is that offset? X25, X1. Y25, Y1. What even is this... Oh, it's for the absolute only? What? What did... I don't know what this is supposed to be. Offset form zero zero in world. Huh. I understand. No, I don't. If we're doing absolute and we've got our offset already. So this is 1-1 one, one compared to global, this is 25-25 compared to where we're snapping to right now, I guess. Can I ask how you provide the extra materials, petrogas, sulfur, water for your vulcanite block production? Uh, sure. Vulcanite block production. So we're doing petroleum, water, uh, enriched vulcanite, and crushed vulcanite. Basically just getting it from the rail network. Is there vulcanite on this planet? Nope. We are sending vulcanite core fragments uh, from Rennes. Alright, where should we put recycling? Probably somewhere out of the way. Um, I don't think our overall throughput for recycling is going to be very much for the foreseeable future. And there's actually a bit of rail we haven't built here yet either. Do we have recycling facilities in here? I doubt it. Still got a little bit of room here. Actually, we need, like, a lot of them. I'll just go bring them myself. Oh, and I went and rotated that, didn't I? Let's not do that. It's cool that we can just rotate it like this, though. Right then. Uh, park about here for starters, wait for inactivity, and I will personally pick up recycling facilities. How many do we have? 28. It's actually not enough. Um, how many are we asking for? 25. Let's bump it up to 50. Hopefully those will be done when we get back. Or pretty soon after anyway. Kappa Beast, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Is this mine empty? It is not. We're just doing really well on stone. Okay. And the train's picking it up right now, actually.
already got the big containers, that's nice. Trains are already scheduled to drop off scrap. Very good. Let's make sure we get that fixed. Fantastic. Uh, we are missing 20 recycling facilities, and it looks like the whole thing is finished other than that. Uh, it also looks like... Wait, 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 stop, 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 stop. It looks like our train is a bit full and our bots are a bit confused. I should probably leave more empty slots because of when they pick up stone and stuff. All right, back you go. If you have a path, fantastic. Mind showing Vulcanite centrifuge production uh, for the red gem thingies, sure. Uh, so we basically got. It's a little bit like Coverex, right? One enriched goes in, four enriched goes out. We lose some crushed vulcanite, and we gain a little bit of sand. We always lose sulfur. Um, so we've got uh, crushed vulcanite on the near belt, sulfur and enriched vulcanite on the far belt. Uh, we output whitelist sand and enriched vulcanite to the trains. We put everything uh, into these chests. That was looking a bit more full than I expected. Is that a problem? It might be. Uh, considering that I haven't got any conditions on these inserters, we could probably fix that pretty easily. So, like... Oh, also we got sand in here. Oh! That's weird. Wait, how is there one sand? Three sand, okay. We actually did a little experiment uh, when we were designing this. Because, much to our surprise, it appeared if we had a filter inserter uh, that always picked up the sand, uh, it actually sort of got priority. Where, where am I going? Good question. Uh, and we never ended up putting sand in that chest, even though there's an unfiltered uh, inserter pointing at it. This whitelisted filter would always take the sand first, but it looks like it does occasionally fail. Good to know. Um, so it's only... Let's just do a filter inserter here. Uh, enriched. I should probably just grab our blueprint and have a look in the editor because we're going to want to edit a few of these at once I really need to clean all of this up as well uh, it's going to take a moment you know what, I'll do it on the break because every time we delete a million signals at the same time it's going to freeze for a moment or a minute at this point if I think you are missing inserters on the bottom of the second row of the left of your scrap build. Uh, true, thank you. Where's our scrap build? Up here. And how many recyclers do we have now? Uh, the answer is yes. Yeah, that was a good catch. Balzu, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, let me just remind myself, do we actually use crushed vulcanite for anything else? Uh, it goes into vulcanite blocks, and it goes into enrichment, and that's it. 
Uh, maybe I should prioritize this drop-off with the crushed vulcanite. Quest priority. Because we don't want to turn all of our crushed vulcanite into enriched. Uh, and then be still unable to make blocks. For deconstruction, place an infinity robopod with infinity storage chest. Uh, robots and disable. Yeah, but I have to be um, not in editor mode when I mark these for deconstruction, to have them not instantly disappear. Uh, it is a good idea to have robots pick all of these up. Actually, I think... No, no, no. As soon as you mark them for deconstruction, uh, even if they're not actually deleted, the trains repath before the bots actually pick them up. So that wouldn't actually work. But for placing them, it would. However, with the editor extensions surface... Um, that we can access while we're in our game. Uh, except for that bug where we got stuck physically in the editor space because the surface we tried to teleport back to didn't exist anymore because auto clamps on spaceship. Uh, there's no way to not be in map editor mode where it'll instantly place all the signals. As far as I'm aware. Um, but yeah, let's grab our blueprint for, uh, where are you, where even is it? Uh, basic vulcanite enrichment. And as it turns out, we do want to filter these. That's going to be... A lot of manual clicking because it's not like I can run a filter over this. Uh, and there's two things that we want to accomplish filter inserter. Whoops. Filter inserter so that we only put red things into this chest. But also. I don't actually want this much enriched vulcanite to end up in these chests. Hmm. It's the ninth setting from the top. Settings, mods, per player. There's six settings. Editor extensions, we've got four settings here. Include hidden items, prevent initial pause. That doesn't really matter. Not in the pause menu, in editor extensions top left. You mean this? Oh, settings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Instant deconstruction. Okay. So if I switch that off, this is the only one we want to keep right now. That's still a pretty big pause. Literally just marking them for deconstruction causes the same pause as if we deconstructed them uh, when it comes to signals. So uh, it'll help. Well, actually, no, it won't. Instant blueprint building. If we turn that off and we have a robot network do it, then when I place a blueprint like this, It'll place it instantly, and we might get a little slowdown if the bots place all of these incredibly quickly, but we won't get this pause like that. 
Um, but yeah, we can't we can't benefit from that with deconstruction because if you mark a rail signal for deconstruction, uh, it actually does all the same repathing work as if you physically deconstructed it. Um, it's really noticeable when you get to the point where your rail network is so big that you can feel a little impact from individual rail signals being placed or removed. So yeah, uh, but it is a, maybe a good idea for building. Except that we have to go to the trouble of having the robot network. If you remove signals first and then decon? Well, I mean, we could remove them all one by one, but that's a little bit more of a pain. Whether you physically remove them or mark them for deconstruction, it'll give you the same pause from trains repathing. Even if it's on another surface. Okay, so there's two objectives we have here. Only allow red things into here, but also only put like a hundred enchant uh, enri enchanted enriched vulcanite into here. But judging from the fact that we don't have any um, crushed vulcanite sitting in sitting in these chests I half expect it's 10 in 4 out so I half expect even without any smarts um, if we just only uh, just disable this if there's like a whole stack of Enriched Vulcanite in here. Enriched Vulcanite less than 50. Um, yeah, I suspect that won't actually accumulate any crushed Vulcanite. So we're going to do it like this. And copy that across. Don't forget to connect. Where's that constant combinator gone? Uh, here it is. So that needs to connect to all of these side inserters to say filter we're setting filters always send allow 50 enriched vulcanite and allow all of the crushed vulcanite in these chests seems good all right, that should be our updated blueprint. Uh, let's grab... I need to go new blueprint. Uh, enriched Vulcanite. Clean stop name, snap to grid, 86.25.1. Seems good. And that's going to replace this one, I think. And then we're going to remove all of these inserters. Oh, there's a train. It's not the train, it's the uh, robot network from when the, or when the cargo rockets crash. And it's taking all our stuff. Alright, so that 
in theory, should fix it. Let's grab our stuff back. Crushed Volcanite can go in here. Uh, turn on our RoboPort. See if we have enough filter inserters, which we probably don't. We do not think. Oh, do we have exactly enough? Yeah, there's nothing missing here. And we have we have two stack filter inserters. So I think it's 48. Yep. Alright, and I would like to take all of this. Hmm. What I might do, actually, is rely on even distribution. We're going to make it nice and slow. Distribution delay 5 seconds. Uh, we're going to limit all of these to a couple of chests, at least temporarily. Sorry, a couple of stacks per chest. Give to me that sand, please. And right after I empty my inventory here... Oh, that's five seconds, I forgot. There we go. So now I'm just going to do an even distro. Actually, is there even going to be room? There might be. It's worth a try. Uh, I guess the rest is going to end up on the ground if there isn't. Let's find out. So we're going to even distro across all of these chests for enriched vulcanite and see if we end up with a giant spill. We end up with a giant spill. Okay. Item on ground, let's go. Uh, I think the construction bots over here are gonna steal some. Clip that? Yourself that overconfidence is a slow and what do you mean overconfidence? I knew the risk. This is quite a large um, spill though. Uh, I guess I should use F. Otherwise the bots are going to take their sweet time picking this up. Also, what is Enriched doing in here? This should just be one... What should this be? Uh... How did... Yeah, there should be nothing red in here, actually. It should just be sand. Maybe it dropped onto the belt. I don't think it does that, though, does it? I like the new floor, gives the factory a nice colour. Um, thank you. Just as planned. Alright, you can go in here. And the bots really are going to take a long time to pick this up. I could... Hypothetically... Hmm... If I turn all of these off... And then empty this train... It's still gonna have construction bots in it. I could get the train to pick it up, and then it'll come back into here, which will go back to the mall which will, for the most part, get put back into the rail network. And we can do all of that remotely. Alright. I think I've had enough... Nope, stop. Then again, it's going to create a million bot jobs, which is going to... It's going to be a lot of energy... 
um, for the robo ports. Oh dear. Alright, let's just go over here. Wait for inactivity. And I think it's going to be a minute before the train is ready to go again. But we can get that done probably with a few trips of the train. Pro probably. Install a quick mod to pick up items off the ground. Role playing as BP oil. Oh no. Oh, we're finished auto-crafting stuff here. I almost forgot to place these recyclers. Oh, it's already 9pm. Uh, I should probably take a break. Let's drop these off first. Then he would have fixed it in a month or two? Well, we'll see how that goes. Of the recycling facilities. I see stuff on the belts. Fantastic. Uh, it looks like we've already gone through our scrap. Wait. Oh man, there's not enough stuff to trigger a delivery. I kind of want to see this work. It's probably fine. Let's grab our taxi. Our taxi is busy. Uh, picking up... What exactly? Oh no. That's what I predicted before. But it, it wasn't happening for a while for some reason. I think it's when there's lots and lots of bot jobs that they get assigned in giant... Uh, batches. But that's actually fine. Um, this is going... This is going to be delivered to the same place. And as soon as this has inactivity, it'll go back to the loading system. And everything that isn't requested here is going to go in this chest. And that's going to go back to the mall as well. When there's some catastrophe like oil spill, scientists always keep part of the beach uncleaned. That part recovers... What? Uh, did we finish this? We did. Let's do a tag. Recycling. Fantastic. And... Is this thing stuck? I believe it is. You may go. Actually, I should catch that train. Uh, too late, I think. Oh, here it is. Give us a ride. Where are you going, anyway? Not quite where I had in mind. It will go back to the depot, which is close to the mall. But I think it will be better if... What was all of that? Uh, don't tell me. Yeah, we, we do need to expand our robot network even more for the stupid cargo rockets. Does that cover it? It does for now. Okay. Back we go. We just leave it sterile? Oh, wow. So, clean, quote-unquote. Alright, drop this off. You sent the stone to depot? Uh, not actually. Did I? I, I didn't actually get out of the train. I let it keep going where it was going to. Oh, it was going to a depot, but I don't see it here. Uh, 
I thought it was dropping off stone for something. But I don't see anywhere that we would be doing that. Um, I can definitely believe that I carelessly sent it to the depot instead of its destination, but I can't find it, which is actually the nightmare. Um, where is that train that's got stone in it? Oh no. Oh, I think we found it. Let's get over there. That was kind of lucky. Let's hope it doesn't move before we are ready. I don't think it can, because it's looking for a full load of uh, vulcanite core fragments. Wow, that feels fast. All right, cool. Problem solved. Let's do a save. Let's throw up some words on the stream. And let's finally take a little break before I lose my voice or something. Okay. We'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Fantastic. All right, let's continue, shall we? With space exploration. How much of this got picked up already? Oh my goodness. Uh, not as much as we hoped. The inactivity timer is actually... I think every 14 seconds a bot is managing to recharge or something. So this train is going to sit here for a while at this rate. How about we just send you back? The bots will... Uh... I was going to say surprisingly stick to you, but uh, no, that wasn't the case. They'll follow. They'll find their way back. What a mess. Yeah. Look, it's only a few thousand items. It's probably f fine. What's the worst that could happen? Let's ride our taxi back. Which isn't going to leave until there's a five second gap. Oh, or it's full. That could work. I should probably just expand that robot network. I should do that anyway because we're going to get crashed ships in all directions eventually. So I guess I could just extend some robots over here. Um... And that would actually pick up almost all of it. Okay. Wait, where are we going? Let me out. Let me out. Fantastic. Um, I could have the construction train build this, but it'll pick up a million items again. I'll just go place a RoboPort or 10 myself. You can see on the map exactly where the trouble is. Alright, RoboPort. And... Uh, yes, RoboPort. Something like here. And a robot. Why can't I put that? Robot port. That's not actually going to reach, is it? Hmm. Okay, fine. Robot port. And don't forget to manually place these. Alright, so that'll probably mostly almost all of it will get cleaned up. Big brain? <laughs> I don't know about that. Okay. The rest is up to you. Now then, what are we focusing on next? So we've got uh, energy science now. I kind of almost forgot. Uh, how many do we have? Energy... We have 72. Which, I believe, is enough to research space rail. Let's do that next. Oh, don't tell me. It's got a prerequisite. Oh, it's only ten. Yeah, uh, we can research space rail. So the next thing we have to figure out is holmium cable. Oh, it's literally just plastic and holmium. Easy enough. TWD bot, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 
My camera quality is like one frames right now for some reason. Uh, I think it's on your end because we've dropped 90 frames the entire stream. Unless it's Twitch's fault, in which case quite a few people are probably having issues. Or it could be, it could depend on the region. Have you made it to space yet? Yes, indeed. Uh, we are... Okay, so here's Nalvis, our first planet. Uh, this is Granus, where we're getting mostly vulcanite core fragments from, but also coal and petroleum. Uh, here is our main base on Hagen. Uh, and we also have Hagen Orbit, which is a spaghetti nightmare mess, because we put together the absolute bare minimum to get space rail unlocked and we're going to build much more organized after that how far do we have to go for i think it's material two uh, for space elevator we also need material for spidertron material one bio one that's not so bad Maybe I should try for that relatively soon. But we need to be able to spam lots and lots of scaffolding for Spidertrons to work up here. I can barely see my screen, it's really blurry. Anyone else? Uh, let's see. All good here? Alright, thanks for letting us know. Uh, oh yeah, science. Um, so space elevator. That's the advanced version. Material science pack two. We've already got energy one. We would have to do astro one and material two. It costs 2000 science as well, but that's not that big a deal, to be honest. Clean your screen. <laughs> Oh no. Inri Inri, good to see you again. You're welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Zonia, welcome, welcome also. Um, I really kind of want to rush space rail, not just to stop using cargo rockets to send stuff to space, but also because it's going to affect our planning. I also haven't quite fleshed out how we're going to get things to space, even though we're using LTN. But I'm pretty sure I have that figured out, I just haven't uh, thoroughly tested it yet. Basically, the train stops for LTN uh, can also double as vanilla train stops. And if I have a provider station, um, I could basically have it priority for vanilla trains. So like, with LTN, I've got the provide stack threshold here. We're only allowing trains with two cargo wagons. That's 40 stacks per cargo wagon. Provide stack threshold 80 means we do not allow a train to come and pick this up until there's 80 stacks worth of stuff. Uh, if we set that to like 160, and we have a vanilla train schedule to come here, pick up Red Circuit, and take it to a drop-off station that's on the other side of the space elevator. Um, that should probably do it. For the most part. We're going to have to figure out some other things as well, but I think that's pretty much it. Turn on construction train again. Construction train is still probably... Oh. It actually charged quicker than I thought it would. And all of its bots have come back. Oh, I guess that happened on the break as well. Yeah, that's uh, maybe not the worst idea. Let's see. 
we could have the construction train sit here until inactivity. And then it'll go, come back here, empty its pockets, and wait to get reloaded again. But I won't re-enable the reload until we're done with this. Okay. I'm kind of blanking on what I want to work on right now. We haven't actually done anything with Immersite yet. Uh, should probably figure that out at some point, right? Because we're kind of getting past the point where we should already we should already have that production tra uh, chain optimization. T oh, this is research. Duh. Um. Also, has science stopped? Okay, we just made prod science. Machine learning data, blank cards. I think it's just slow, which is okay. Make optimization tech card. Uh, can we make that on the ground, or do we make it in space, I wonder? Optimization tech. Whoops, that's not what I want to do. Uh, optimization tech card. It's made in a space manufacturing. Uh, do we have a sphere? I don't think we do. I don't really have room for it right now. Let's just take a peek. Oh, this can make all the regular tech cards as well. But there wouldn't be a prod bonus. Blank plus optimization research data. Which is... that requires Immersite. Alright, let's figure out Immersite. I haven't even taken a peek at Immersite yet. Um, could I place an Immersite mine here? Or maybe it would be quicker to just put one over here already. Uh, it doesn't look like it needs any fluid or anything. We need quarry drills. Did we automate that already? We did not. Let's see. Drills. Where are we automating drills? Oh, this is what was the low priority stuff. Uh, let's see. Drill. Quarry. A drill. Let's go for at least one stack. Make it two. And once that refreshes, we'll find out what our prerequisites that we're missing are. Rare metals, steel, steel beam, big electric. Oh, it's already working. Fantastic. I don't think we're going to need that many, actually. It looks like we only ever need a handful at a time. So I think I'll limit it to 50. Or at least that's the target. Actually, the target could probably be like... 12, and it'll go over. Nah, let's go for 50. Um, could I please have a quarry drill? It's already in here. Fantastic. Actually, uh, I was going to steal a taxi, but the taxi is going to be busy. Let's just fly over there. Space, indeed. Military 5 is at 94%. Beautiful. For, for a very short moment, I wondered what this train was waiting for. It's actually sitting in the depot. So that's cool. Uh, let's double check how Immersite is blowing. It seems like it is. Although this thing seems bottlenecked. Uh, we're supposed to be net negative 
slightly net negative on holmium chloride. So this is actually, yeah. Only a little bit of the time. It should be not working, though. 20%. Is there a problem? Uh, we're actually out of holmenite. That's a pretty good reason. Um, have we actually... We have not actually gone through all these fulminite mines. We're just bottlenecking on them. Well, that's okay then. Uh, that means we don't have to build way more of these yet. Alright, let's have a peek at... What this looks like. Okay. That's an achievement from a mod. Didn't realize that was a thing. Uh, it looks like it's pretty straightforward. It's not asking for any fluid. Raw emesite. Thank you, thank you. I don't think we can fit a block here properly. Um, we'll have to get rid of this. And this whole block is going to be for oil. Whoops. That's fine. Uh, but this is obviously going to be in the way of our rail block system. Does this have... It is finite. It'll disappear one day. Uh, but yeah, these two blocks. Well, more like this block. Actually, not even. We don't usually use this space. It'll be just a bit of a nuisance for the trains. Uh, but where are we going to do our input-output? How about... Over here. It's already lined up correctly. Uh, a loader can go here. Then again, maybe I could do the emesite processing right here. Doop a doop. Holmium cable is being researched. Next one is space rail. Alright, let's have a P. So. We get imosite crystals, raw imosite directly. Uh, let's see what we do with it. Raw imosite. Right click. We can make crushed imosite. We can make landfill, lol. Oh, it's actually got a core fragment for it as well, I just realized. Imosite core fragment, fantastic. Uh, it goes into matter liberation data, or rather it gets consumed with it. Okay, it looks like... Practically nothing uh, uses raw emesite, at least for now. There's no reason to put it into the rail network. But we'll probably end up doing it because we mine it anyway. Go to request it to research? Uh, what do you mean? Request what to research? Oh, the energy science packs. Good point. Uh, here we go. Energy. Science packs. Five stacks, not 50 stacks. And we already have 72. It seems we haven't made another one for a minute. But we've already got enough for our space rail, and that's the main thing. And that's before productivity bonuses. Oh, hold up. Energy science packs don't go in here. We need new... Um, it means we're going to lose a little bit of research, doesn't it? 
Oh, I guess not. Uh, we actually need new labs. Lab. Space. Uh, space lab. Do we have one of those lying around? I don't think we do. Would recommend getting the mega labs for extra module slots. Well, I imagine they're going to be hidden behind. Do you mean the singularity lab? Is that actually a science lab? Research speed 10 plus 9. It's double the space science lab. Yeah, it's just a lab, it seems like. Ten times as much power, double the speed, and presumably more prod modules. Um, well, uh, when can we get it? Singularity Lab. Uh, all four Science Pack 4s and Matter Science Pack and advanced tech card. Yeah, I don't think we need to stress too much about that. Okay. So how do we make our lab? We need lithium sulfur batteries. Do we have those? I don't think so. I think we have them on Hagen. I'm pretty sure we have them on Hagen. Uh, where are they, though? Oh, here they are. I was about to do a factory search, but we found them. I might just shove that into the next rocket, which will hopefully be departing relatively soon. Down we go. See how that goes. We've actually got lots of room still. Where did they put it? Here we go. 300 more stacks before that auto launches. Uh, speaking of which, I need to request... Oh, I already am requesting Holmium ingots. Fantastic. You will have the new lab in approximately 2.5 hours, indeed. Um, it's not like I can delivery cannon lithium batteries, right? Can't, can't do it for any type of battery. Uh, lithium. We can send lithium chloride. How do we make the batteries? Lithium plus copper plus sulfuric acid. I don't think we're sending sulfuric acid. Uh, but these three things we can send in barrels if we really want to. I'd have to get some sulfuric acid here. don't really want to do that. 300 stacks, though. Oh, and because research isn't consuming right now, it's not actually gonna trigger a launch. Um, in that case... I really shouldn't have removed those labs. I don't know if my undo levels are gonna get it back. Um, let's put one here. And... Where was it? Here? I guess. Oh, they're over here now, aren't they? Uh, alright, cancel that. And put those labs back. And put some prod modules in them. I think we have prod 2s up there right now. Yep, 
Here they come. Fantastic. And put this whole mess back. Uh, and we'll just research everything that doesn't need energy science packs yet. Iridium heat shielding. It's very cheap. Uh, growth facility. Let's get insert a bonus first. We need material one for the next one. Uh, material one. Pyroflux melting beryllium. Whatever. I'm just going to stop reading. We're just going to knock everything off. I'm really not that concerned about what we're researching right this second. Uh, let's build our processing for Immersite. Yeah, I should have realized. Well, I kind of did realize that was going to do that. Okay. So first step is crushing. Um, I could borrow from myself for the crushing part. Let's have a peek at... Well, I think the layout's going to be slightly different regardless. Uh, let's get a pulverizer. And that's going to make crushed emocyte. If we do that in one block by itself so that it's easy to fix un uh, fit under a beacon without the ratios changing because we're doing multiple steps. Uh, presumably that's going to be way too fast. Oh, I know what I can steal from. Recycling. Not the sushi part. Just the layout of the pulverizers, perhaps. Where did they go? Oh, here they are. So there's no fluid involved, nice and easy. Uh, what kind of rate are we looking at so far? 48 per second in and out. That is slightly problematic. Considering the space that... Oh, there's no fluids. Uh, let's get rid of all the pipes. Uh, maybe I should have a decon plan for belts. Just belts in general. I don't know. I'll just remove all of that for now. And I'm not going to worry about the other side just yet. Okay. Four tiles to the right. Just enough room to double it. This would be... 48 crushed emocyte per second. Um, 12 in... Sorry, 24 in, 24 out. On one column. It's just barely going to be bottlenecked on the belt. I could just go a bit smaller, I guess. I definitely like this density for machines, though. Uh, we've got plenty of space here. Maybe... Maybe we can make something work. Without doing belt weaving, because that would be a sin. Slightly more than one blue belt in. What are they individually? Four in, four out per second, but it's split 
outputs. So inserters would be slower than usual. But a stack should probably not have any trouble keeping up. Um... How much space would it... If I used loaders, how much space would it take up? Too much? Uh, not if we did it like this. So we could have input, input... Like so. Um, that is just barely limited to one belt, but we could always do two belts in like this. And that would actually work. Four per second consumed by the first. The rest can be covered by one belt. Oh, this is only just over half a belt as well. Okay. So let's say we did input something like this. Does that leave room for the bacon? The big one? Uh, not quite. Ideally, we want it to be super easy to upgrade. Uh, we could probably pull that off, though. Pretty easily. That one would be different. Hmm. What's the most consistent look I can come up with for this? Good question. That beacon has to be specifically there. This is pretty good on this side. Uh, I just realized on this side we'd have to do something like this. It wouldn't quite be belt weaving, because output could look like this, I guess? Technically not belt weaving. Yatu Watu, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So these two would be slightly more than one blue belt. Should probably do it something like this. And... We wouldn't quite have room to use loaders. Well, we could. Slightly more than half a belt. Which means if this loader uses both sides of the belt. It could theoretically block the others. Let's just do it the way we should probably in the first place. First three normal. Actually, I kind of like the back ones to have the opposite side of the belt. It's a very weird sound effect for what this is. And then same thing over here. That's going to be different. One, two, three, I guess. Oh, this one doesn't have room for an output. We can probably arrange for it to have room, though. Mm. Let's 
still possible. Wait, no it isn't. Wait, yes it is. Cutting it close. Also, these ones at the end don't need a splitter. Okay. So that is one side of the belt, that's the other side of the belt. And I think we're good, basically. It's a little hard to follow, but it's probably fine. I guess this would look a little more consistent. Um, don't mind this. That could be up a tile if, or two if we wanted it to. Oh, it'd actually be super consistent with the middle one, if it was up here. Oh wait, no, 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 because then it's not inputting to the correct machine. Power? Uh, good question. Hmm. Don't know how we're going to do it without a pylon substation at this point. Which is fine for later, but what about now? If I move this down one... So, this can go here. That can go there. That can go there. Up here, we probably need to make some room somehow. That's a big hole. So something like this. And then... In the middle. That's not going to connect anyway. Oh, this one is just barely not powered. Uh, can we move all of these down a tile? And then... Is that actually powered? I think it is. Yeah, that's actually really tight. So we've got just enough room for the basic beacons. Just enough room for the big beacon. And it appears we have input output for everything. Let's test it. What's the rate, anyway? Uh, 96 raw imasite per second. A bit more than one belt on each side. Okay. I wonder if... the invisible inserters can keep up with 96 per second. Or at what stack level can they keep up with that? Let's uh, see what we can find out. Hmm. This feels more consistent. Actually, I think something like this might sort of look a little bit better. More easy to follow, more clean. Uh, I could also do like a 4x4 four four container here, I suppose. That might be better. It takes the speed of 
those stack inserters out of the equation. Actually, no, because we can't fit... Well... We could fit loaders something like this. I guess. And then... like this. Guess that's not too bad. Looks kind of weird. I think I like that a little bit better. Anyway, uh, we're getting off topic. We need to confirm that all of these are hooked up correctly. So we're going to put in raw in the site. Wait, what? In the... Huh? Raw in the site. Here we go. Oh, it's 1M. That's weird. And let's give it some proper power for testing. We also need power for the bulk rail. I think that I think I'd want that to be here actually. It's the neatest spot. Alright, all of these machines appear to be in motion. But we haven't given it a output yet. Uh, why don't we just void it for the moment? See if all of these machines are still moving. After a little while. Um, but yeah, it looks like... Are we struggling to output, or was that because it was blocked for a moment? I think it... oh. Okay, that one's definitely struggling to output, but it might be because it was blocked for a moment. Yeah, it actually looks like it's okay now. It's uh, catching up. So that seems fine. I see every single inserter swinging for output, which means they must have input. Uh, cool. I think that's it for our first step. Now, what do we do with the powder? Right click. Uh, there's only one answer. Apparently, we make immersium sulfide by combining it with sulfuric acid. In that case, I think I would like to do it in the same block. We need chemical plants. We'll build something on the right side, try to fit it to beacons. Uh, it's one solid, one fluid in, one fluid out. So that shouldn't be difficult. And it sh I probably uh, will be able to do enough of that here to process whatever this does. I could be wrong. But I imagine... Well, either way, we would want to trim down one or the other. Unless we do it in a different block. Uh, especially when the beacons and modules change. Let's see what this looks like. And nickel plant. How many would it take to keep up? It really feels weird that the... Uh... 
So this literally only has one thing we do with it until... Well, I should definitely have an export for later on when we need raw imasite or whatever this is. But... We're probably just not even gonna... We're only gonna fill up one train load. And not worry about the rest. There's literally one recipe that we export this for. Oh wait, that's raw imasite. What am I talking about? We're going to be putting that into the rail network anyway. Um, Alright, so crushed imasite. Uh, right click. Only one recipe. That's, that's literally it. So we don't want to put that into the rail network. Uh, we'll need this for the sand though. Okay. Uh, sulfuric acid, we're going to drop off from here. Actually, we don't need a bulk rail unloader for that. Just a single huge storage tank with the quickest possible unload. Um, our beacon belongs here, if possible, perhaps. And again, it doesn't matter as long as it doesn't overlap this. And if it's in line with the middle of here, I'm happy. Okay. So, chemical plant... What? Chem chem chemical plant. Um, to fit the maximum around a beacon would look like this, right? But... But we have to worry about the pipe IO. It's one solid, one fluid in, one fluid out. I think I'd probably do it this way. Uh, could we, in fact, fit this around here? I think the answer is yes, easily. Actually. And could we also fit basic beacons in the short term? Uh, I think the answer is yes. Except... Oh, that's... That's pretty easy, actually. Okay. Uh, hold up. I think I misread it slightly. This one's going to be missing out. Unless... Unless we do it like this, kind of? I just hope we'll have room for... For our power if we do this. I think we will, actually. So, substation... That looks pretty easy, actually. Put that wherever we want. And then it shouldn't be difficult at all to have fluid plus solid in. Uh, that is almost one belt of crushed imasite. Oh. So this whole thing can do 48 per second. Yeah, it's actually, as I guessed the first time, um, it's going to be easy to trim this down to, uh, to be more than enough to keep up with this. And we can easily expand it if somehow the modules change that. But I... Let's see. More productivity here would mean we'd need more to keep up with this. 
No. Because it'd still be slower overall, right? Compared to what we can do here. I think so. Alright, so this is 40 per second. This is 48 per second. Um, we'd need like five more machines. To not bottleneck on that. I could just let it bottleneck so that this is saturated. We either bottleneck on one thing or the other. It's not going to be a perfect ratio. Uh, let's see. All of these are connected, I believe. Why don't we just do it like this for the moment? And we can easily expand it if we so desire. Uh, so sulfuric acid comes from here, and here, and maybe I'll move this over a bit, as long as the giant beacon doesn't infringe on these ones. One, two, three. Uh, I think I'd like to move it over a couple of tiles. So this could be a nice cozy fit. That can go there. Don't need this. This can be on this side. Uh, I kind of like these power poles from the other one. Not going to need those wires. All right. So sand goes in here. What's our rate for sand? It's actually kind of fast, more than a belt. Um, how about... Well, I'll do the thing where short trains can pick it up. Noblin, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Actually, shouldn't that be at least a blue belt? At least 50% of the throughput? Uh, a blue belt is almost 100% of the throughput here, but that's fine. And sand stacks to 200. Uh, yes, it does. So 200 times 40. 8,000. If there's more than a cargo wagon of sand in here, we can push it to here. And we'll just put the rest straight in here, I think. Except we need to filter it off. Um, so let's put... Let's put a 4x right next to this. Nice and neat. And again, it probably doesn't need to be a 4x. But it's the easiest way to keep it neat. Bring this up a tile. Actually, I kind of like the input at the top. And then we need some filtered express loaders. Or sand. Okay, cool. Uh, passive provider station. Sand. Oh, actually, this should be an active provider because sand is the byproduct. 
We want to keep that out of the way. Send. If pick up. Ride stack threshold 80. Short trains permissible. And that should be fine. And then. More than one belt of crushed imosite off in this direction. Wait, does imosite powder? Fine imosite powder. It's made from imosium sulfide, that's this, plus imosite powder. And we get sulfur and imosite crystal out of it. Raw imosite is different from imosite crystal. Okay. But when do we make fine imosite powder? I mean, yeah. Imosite sulfide plus nitric acid gives us fine imosite powder plus nitrogen. Okay. But for now, we're just doing crushed. Two belts. One over here. And one over here. And what's our rate for these individual machines? Quite slow. Let's just give it a fast inserter, that's already overkill. And this is sulfuric acid. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm, there's no room to do the same thing on this side. Well, there almost is. Is that going to be symmetrical? It doesn't look quite right. It's not quite right. So that goes there, that goes there actually. That part is symmetrical, but this part makes it look like it's not, kind of. But I still feel like that's neater than we might otherwise do. It also lets us connect this here. We are requesting... Not this. Oops. Stop name is empty. Uh, sulfuric acid... Chemical plant making immersium sulfide. Oh. And over here we are requesting raw imosite going into pulverizer. Making sand and brushed imosite. Fantastic. Stack size, I believe, is the same. So that's 8k for two train loads. And uh, we just need a fluid for this one. Request threshold, 50k. Short trains are allowed. Uh, how fast is it going to go through sulfuric acid, actually? 8 per second? 
yeah, I don't care if it's a long train or a short train for this one. Then again, longer train is fewer trips. But then again, if it's so slow, and sometimes we're going to be slow on sulfuric acid, it's probably better if we get a smaller delivery sooner. All right, let's ask for half of a huge storage tank. 50k request threshold. Uh, don't forget to connect this to LTN. And this to LTN. Don't need that. Oh, this is like on the opposite side. Would that look better? More consistent? Might do. Why is it so quiet? There we go. Makes that wire look a little less consistent, but I think overall it's kind of better. And again, this one's straight now. That's a lot more symmetrical. Down here, this one doesn't line up with these ones, but I don't think there's anything for it. That's okay. Alright, so remove the bacons for now. Uh, sulfuric acid input. Simulated. And then we get our immersion sulfide. It's gonna go down here. It looks like it's gonna be fairly slow. A whopping 80 per second for the whole thing. Uh, maybe I would like to, what was it, five more of these to keep up with this? We need another eight per second. Yeah, five more. Make it six. the symmetry. Uh, maybe up here would be neater. already connected, I think. Uh, let's see, 8.7k. Oh, it comes in bursts, because we get 50 per recipe and they're all in sync. But yeah, it does look like all of that is connected. Fantastic. So that should be a much better ratio. Uh, slightly... We're actually still slightly positive on crushed imosite. Oh, because I only added four of these. sulfuric acid. Okay. Rate 
calc. A little bit negative on crushed emocyte. I think I'd rather bottleneck on that. Since the sulfide is rather slow. Not that I have an idea of how much we need it yet, but still. Okay. I think... I think that's our blueprint. We can't get a bulk rail unloader to unload like that. No, we can't. That actually looks pretty tidy. Oh, uh, and we're going to limit this to 40. 40 stacks in the front. Can probably go ahead and change the settings for this back. How about one second? That's pretty generous, but also kind of quick. Uh, and this doesn't have to be a priority pickup. This is our main product that we're outputting from this station. Pick up for Immersium Sulfide. Immersium? Wait, what? It is called Immersium. My immersion. Okay. Blueprint. Snap to grid. 86, 25, and 1. Brain stop things. Uh, immersium sulfide. Uh, I already did cover that the raw emocyte is going to be able to go elsewhere as well. And then... I believe that's it. Grid position... Oh, I think that's 25 plus 1. Yes. How, how come rotating it 8 times left it on its side? Oh, maybe I miscounted. Anyway, let's put that in here somewhere. And figure out where we're going to put it in our main game. Material Science Pack 1 is at 98%. Fantastic. Okay, Immersium. Uh, probably super close to this mine would be good. Uh, in fact, let's just... Maybe for this mine, we'll skip the part where we put it into the rail network. I think I broke it. Well, it's fine. We're about to put this blueprint down. Right about here. Uh, train's not going to have access through here. That's okay. And... I think we'll just go through like this. Well, let's get our construction. Oh, I haven't reloaded the construction train. Okay. Not sure how it still had enriched vulcanite in it, but it's fixed now. Speaking of fixed now, uh, we have rolled up the red carpet and put it away. So there's that. Put some more room in those chests. And something is wrong here. It looks like it can spill items onto the belts. 
Uh, I think the easiest way to fix that is just going to be to go over there myself. And we'll pick up all of the enriched that's on the crushed bell. One down, three to go. Let's just shift C into there. Show the build what's it worth calling T hacks to come in personally? Wait, what? What is worth calling? Oh, uh, when we had a big spill of um, enriched vulcanite over here, uh, it got onto the belt that's supposed to have uh, crushed vulcanite because that was the one resource missing from this place for input. Uh, which build are you asking me to show? Was it the Emersite one? Get out of my inventory. Fantastic. Okay, that seems to be working. Uh, it seems like the output has some catching up to do over here. I think there may have been a misunderstanding, I guess so. Oh, the sand output. Hold up, how fast is this for sand? It's less than one per second, so it's for some reason it's playing catch up. Probably because these were blocked for a while. Yeah, I think that'll sort itself out. Okay. Uh, over here, I think we're going to put our emesite fluid. Let's put stuff into our train again. And maybe a little bit less... Uh, on the belts. Why is there 40 express underneath these here? So that way there'll be a little bit of spare room in here in case they pick up stone or something. Jax, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Do I need to help with this build at all? Uh, possibly... I don't know how many pulverizers the, uh, the train is carrying. It only stacks to five, so it's probably best not to overfill it with those. Yoink. And off we go to help build this thing. Research continues. Fantastic. Uh, train is ready. That was quick. Train can go... Hmm. I should probably build the rail out. I don't want to have to give the train orders twice. I'm out of rail, though. Um, never mind. Alright, construction train, please park over here for a bit. It's going fantastic, thanks. Good to hear. That's not going to be permitted. That particular bit of rail. Oops. And 
Uh, we don't need the cheat items in that blueprint. Infinity chest and super inserter are not, in fact, items we have access to. I mean, we could if we really want to cheat, but this is not a cheating stream. Uh, what's the rate going to be from this? 7 per second each. 7.14.21 on one half of the belt. That's actually okay. If we don't want to bother with a splitter. Meowgumin, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I actually only have one quarry drill on me. I can not handcraft them. So I'll go back. Just as soon as my bots stop, uh, stop jumping out. I should get more rail as well. While I'm at it. If I place rail, it means the construction train can do the rest. What's the mining rate of the quarry drill? 7 per second. And I imagine it's going to be exactly 7 per second each, so that would be... 21 from these three, so if that goes on half a belt. Oh, it depends on which side of the belt this outputs to. That could be completely wrong. Alright, let's go get more rail and more quarry drills. Not cheating stream, we so we don't cannon delete excess resources? That wasn't cheating. That was the only uh, voiding option available to us last time. And you have to keep the infinite resources flowing, otherwise you're not gonna keep up with whatever resource you're struggling with the most. Quarry drill goes over here. Uh, 50 is an awful lot of quarry drills. But it would take extra clicks to bring fewer. Oh, I forgot to pick up rail. Is the train still here? It is a knot. We've already dropped off all of our rail. Uh, I didn't realize that the reason I couldn't make more rail on the spot was because the stone was in my trash slots, though. So we can make like 150 rail without even handcrafting any steel beams. Which means we're going to be able to park the train like here probably. Going to make things a lot easier. There's our drills. I should probably power... Oh, there we go. It is in fact on the wrong side of the belt. Or what we want. Um... Rats. Okay. How about a splitter? Put this on the left. And that doesn't even help. Fantastic. And then these three need power also. So that should be 21 per second on the left side, which can take 22.5. Train is ready. I'll just put a delivery cannon chest here for the temporary part. It's going to make it easy to remove later. Here we go with the construction train. Inactivity, 15 seconds. And hopefully that's the end of that build. I mean, I'm sure there's going to be some rail that it doesn't reach up here. But for now that really doesn't matter. Okay, 
Back to the mall we go. Let's get a taxi. The taxi is busy. It's just getting back, actually. Taxi. Wait for passenger present. And then... Back to here. Wait for passenger not present. Fantastic. Will that chest work? Uh, which one? Oh, the delivery cannon chest? Yeah, the uh, bulk rail... Oh, those are bulk rail unloaders. Uh, good point. <laughs> okay. Um... It... Not only will it not work, but we have to move it without picker dollies. What is this bot doing? Oh, I see. I was waiting for another bot. Okay. Uh, if we pick a dolly the delivery cannon chest away, the bulk rail unloader would have just kept dropping resources where the chest was, because it doesn't recognize that it's not there anymore. Cool. Let's shift C, drop off the imasite. We do need sulfuric acid delivered up here. Um, which surprisingly hasn't been scheduled yet. Even though we've got 200k waiting. Provide threshold 50k, short trains, long trains. We've got 200k. Uh, this is just not connected. For some reason. All right. Easily remedied. What does the imocyte fluid get used for? It is called sulfide. Immersium sulfide. And it is used for fine imocyte powder. Plus we get a bit of nitrogen. Uh, nitric, nitric acid requires nitrogen, right? Oh, we're just getting the nitrogen from here. Okay, so nitrogen, they're both blue. Nitrogen and water are products that we can just avoid anytime. Uh, less so in space, but like on planet, we can consider nitrogen as something we can just avoid. Uh, let's see. So fine immersite powder requires immersium sulfide plus nitric acid. We can also you combine that with the fluid and silicon to make immersite crystals. It also gives us a bit of sulfur back, and we can void it. So crystals and fine powder. Nothing direct yet. Drill kind of looks cool, though. I kind of expected this part to be more complicated, but it is not. Oh, I forgot about our taxi, which is actually still full of core fragments. But that's okay. Oh, it doesn't have path back? Oh, no. Uh... Construction train, rescue me. We're pretty much recharged already. Star Metal, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, how much longer is this going to be charging? I think it's done. No, it is not done. Uh, we've actually got a lot of recharging to do right now, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it wait. I 
need it to build... Well, that might be bad, actually. How about... here? Inactivity... Uh, I need it to build this rail so that our taxi train can leave. Manually drive it backwards, then it'll have path. Uh, it's already in the middle of a block. It only has path up this way, and it's actually just a little bit of rail we're missing. I probably could have handcrafted it. But uh, the train's already on the way. It's fine. It doesn't have a whole lot of work to do here, so the fact that it doesn't have all of that charge won't be a big problem anyway. Looks like we finished our build. Fantastic. Let's go immersium, immersium sulfide. You can manually drive against the traffic lights. Yeah, I know, but this is sort of easier. And train should be going back any moment now. So that is the beginnings of Immersite. We don't actually have anything useful we can do with it yet, uh, but we've done the first two steps of the production chain, which weren't very difficult just yet. Cool. Uh, I kind of like how this layout turned out, to be honest. The fact that we can fit the big beacon, we can fit the, uh, what is it, four small beacons, uh, this might end up becoming a template to use for other builds, because a lot of the time, uh, we pulled it off on this side as well, um, a lot of the time we've had to give up on being able to fit a wide area beacon later and also small beacons before that. Um, but maybe there are ways. Wait. Oh, that's a lot of crushed imacite. Uh, wait, we still don't have sulfuric acid here. Do we have path? Uh, no path. Why no path? Because no roundabout. That's why. Where's our construction train? It's being loaded again. It is almost ready, I think. Or I could do it myself. That would probably work. Let's get some rail. Fly over there. I definitely want this working before we finish today. Research is chugging along just fine. Uh, it's nice. Even though we have a couple of steps, or probably just one step, we, we need to get those batteries upstairs. Uh, bat, hold on, battery. It's the lithium sulfide, I think they're called, or lithium something or other batteries. I shoved them in here. We're still waiting for another 74 stacks of stuff before this auto launches. I could always launch it early, but once we have lithium sulfur batteries upstairs, uh, we'll be able to make the big, uh, ooh. we'll be able to make the big science lab that can do the more advanced, uh, science packs. We've already got at least 72 energy science packs. We've still got exactly that, actually. Not sure why. What are we bottlenecking on? Electromagnetic field data. Rare metals. Uh, we've got some raw that we could smelt. But more importantly, I suspect I never actually automated rare metals to be sent up here. Well, that's a good way to get... Uh, to get this thing filled up so it launches. 
Uh, let's see. We need to request rare metals. Uh, stack size 100 means 16k for two train loads. It's possible I'll need to add more storage. It looks okay, actually, maybe. Possibly. Uh, and on the orbital side, we're looking for 50 stacks. So that's 50,000, I think. Because we theoretically want it to be able to launch if we run out of any one resource. Oh, and because it's not LTN, uh, this is actually a positive value on this side. So there should now be rare metals being delivered here. Uh, there it is. Fantastic. It's actually bringing some from Nalvis. And I imagine it will not be very long at all before this rocket launches. So tomorrow we'll definitely be making our more advanced science lab. We'll get our first uh, energy science pack research done, which will be going straight for space rail. And then building the orbital base can really begin. On your roundabouts, you have 16 out of 56 chain signals doing nothing. That's not quite true. Even with the pickup slash drop off. Uh, if we don't break it up into the requisite number, well not number, it's the size and shape of them that matters. Uh, while there are s there are sectors that are not strictly necessary, uh, if we don't break it up into this many sectors, trains will block each other in ways that don't make sense. Uh, that's all that is. Uh, speaking of, did we get our sulfuric acid? Yes, we did. And that's our first 16,000 Immersium Sulfide. Beautiful. So that's now available to the rail network. We'll probably end up having 200k before we even figure out what to do with it. Uh, we also get some sand. That's actually not nothing. Uh, we used to have trouble with stone, so sand is a welcome side product. Let's go build this as well. And there's our rocket, which means we can, in fact... Uh, I should probably do it now so we can get more prod modules in. But it's very much time to finish the stream. So probably tomorrow. Uh, let me leave myself a note. Uh, where's the science lab? It's science time. Fantastic. All right. Uh, thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Actually, let me find someone to raid first. That might be a good idea. We got Mucky. I think it's been a minute since we raided Mucky. Uh, I'm not seeing any... I raided Andy a few times just because he's playing SEK2. Uh, I think I want to spread it out a bit. Have a good day. Thanks for hanging out. Love, Kelly. Veldak, Harvey. Thanks for hanging out. Take care. Uh, check out the blueprints of the Discord if you're into that. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. I'll get to it when I can. Jax, Vlad, take care. Thanks for hanging out. 
And uh, let's drop in on Mucky. And definitely don't spam no swearing at every possible opportunity, especially when he's upset. That would be rude. Alright, let's go. Now I can 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 now I can